Are we live? Are we live? Seems a good. Alright, let's continue with space exploration, where we were just getting some proper momentum going, finishing this outpost. Uh, I think I'll go get rid of those trees so we can finish this block properly before anything else. Uh, let's use the trusty old rocket launcher where we can. That's saving a bit of time. Hey, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this goes here. And it seems we need some more landfill. Uh, something still in the way over here? Nope. Oh, is there probably a missing, uh, power plant down here? Yeah, there is. That's gonna bug me. Off you go, immortal tree. Fantastic. Um, atomic bomb is 16% researched. Even more fantastic. We should have um, a good chunk of barrel ready for the space elevator research by the time that one's done as well. I'm surprised that the Factorio devs haven't added the ability to auto, auto landfill with blueprints. Yeah, me too. A thousand percent. Uh, looks like we still need a bunch of efficiency modules. Let's go grab them. Where are the efficiency modules? Right about here. That's a lot. Well, it's it's a bit more than enough for two of these blocks, but still. Pardon me for the late start. I got absolutely clapped by the heat today. Uh, something like 34 degrees and 30-something percent humidity. A uh, couple of hours in that. <laughs> carrying a somewhat heavy load. Had a bit more of an impact than I was expecting. Zaxxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We need a way to place down blueprints with circuits so we can make self-replicating factories. I believe there's a mod that makes that uh, possible. 34 degrees, more like nope. Yeah, uh, that's 34 Celsius to be clear. Uh, it was significantly hotter than the last time I went for my usual weekly. Uh, and I was wearing long pants. <laughs> couple of hours in that and I was actually on the verge of collapsing. Um, so what are we doing? We need some some pipes basically. I think everything else is um, is Dunsky. How many more pipes do we need? We've got 41. We probably need like 200. Wow. That wasn't that far off the mark. 251 underground pipes to finish this thing. Um, I could try placing some undergrounds where we'll get at least some minimal functionality, but it's more trouble than it's worth, I think. 34 Kelvin would also be a different story, <laughs> indeed. Um, 34 Kelvin would be a little, a little cringe, a little frosty. A bit much for my, for my tastes. Uh, yeah, so bear with me as I slowly recover 
feeling like a human being again, I guess. Um, could I speed up the whole pipe thing a bit, perhaps? We're about a third of the way here. I don't have any speed modules. Um, why don't we just literally just double this? Or even triple, depending on how much iron we have, which is to say plenty. Need a couple of passive providers. Some power. And I probably need at least... No, wait, I already made like four machines over here. Um, just to break down plate. So, at this point we might be bottlenecked by the bots. Should probably bring that up here instead. Right next to the iron. Okay. Have they not... Oh, there we go. Taking this sweet time bringing the chests over here. I literally just deconstructed those. Where did they go? Or did I not make that many? Okay. At this point, I probably need to be requesting more of these, otherwise the whole thing stops. There we go. Power is looking really good. And we've got a couple of places already to get some uh, drills in. Let's go with this. And we should have room to just put this somewhere like here. We do a chest. Yes, but. It's in a slightly awkward spot. Alright, let's just do it like this. And... Accumulator. I don't have any. Do we have some in the robot network? We do. I don't see them lying. Oh, there they are. I should have picked up the drills as well. Uh, you know what I should have built by now, actually, is... Um, media defenses. Let's hurry up with that. Give to me all of the landfill, please. And we want... Let's do the navset view. Uh, media defense installation. Request a chest. A bit more range would be good. Or I could put it down here. I think we've got 12, right? Let's do 3 by 4. Stupid immortal trees. There we go. And... Uh, do we have some medium poles left? I don't think so. I, I think I brought 50 as is standard, and they've all been placed here, and we've probably run out of them. Um, 
We do have glass in the robot network, so this shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Uh, we need to make lamps. Uh, we need wire. We need medium poles. We need small iron poles. We need iron sticks and... Oh god, what a... What a nuisance. Uh, this needs this as well. How about... That'll be that. Then we need iron beams. And then... That's it. That's a lot. For some medium poles. Need all the things, indeed. Sav... Uh... Savi the Fox, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rack attack, best emote. Uh, let's go with copper and iron. Don't overdo it. There's no need. That one should get done already. Why are they not bringing copper yet? On the way, 18. It's coming. So that should already be done. Iron over here. And that should be done. And that just leaves glass and iron for the lamp. That should already be done. We almost need a mall for the mall? Yeah. I'm seriously considering a proper uh, auto crafter for these things. Um, although, if we're going to get blue belt, we would need lubricant. I think red belt should probably be fine for these outposts, though. Um, Alright, so that just leaves... Oh, Cable in here. Iron stick. Iron stick? God damn it. Uh, I should have put iron stick over here. So it has to go in both of these? Yeah. Um, and put a requester over here. Oops. All right. And we finally have lighted medium poles. It only took 7,000 years. There we go. Alright, so why else did I need lighted poles other than to build this? I think there was something else. Oh yeah, I needed to squeeze them in here unless I was gonna put those further apart. Okay. That doesn't reach. Bruh, that looks so bad. No. Why are you like this? Uh, how about like that, I guess. Nope, that's horrible. Everything's cancelled. We're just putting them a couple of tiles apart and using substations. Okay. 
does that reach down here? Uh, uh not really. What did that say? Cannot build on shallow water. Is this the shallow water we're referring to? Bruh. Alright, give me some long arms. And we'll go this way. And this way. Uh, and don't forget this way. Also, that needs power. Fantastic. Do we not have ammo? We have 999 ammo. Oh, that's just barely out of range. Uh, guess what? Now it's in, now it's in range. Fantastic. Medium poles are terrible, indeed. Alright, there's our media defense. Uh, if they're all charging at once, that's half of our, that's 200% of our electricity. Is it daytime? Sort of. Not that solar gives us very much. Um... That's our solar power, and that's our gas power. It's like 10% during the day. Um, of course, having all of these charge at the same time is unusual. But that said... Bonk? What are we bunking for? I didn't hear a bunk sending a test bunk. I heard a bunk. You guys hear everything I hear. I heard the first one. Yeah, it's literally just desktop audio is how I get my audio through. So I can't hide anything. Did you hear it, though? I heard the second bonk, okay. Alright, do I have 50 poles? Not quite. Uh, I do have a bunch of pipe to ground, though. So we can hopefully get this built. Maybe I'm just deaf? Hope not. Okay. Uh, we're still not getting water over here. What's happening? Oh, I think it's just filling up the machines one by one. Yeah, there we go. It's making that meow noise. These two don't seem to be... Oh, there is a lack of connection over here. There we go. Alright. 4.3k water. If all of these are connected, then everything should be connected. Found the odd underground pipe. Fantastic. I wonder if I can remove that from the blueprint. Uh, there it is. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, it looks like we're getting our two inputs over here and our ammonia, which is not yet finding its way... Uh, it is finding its way into these machines, actually. How does this one have iron and this one doesn't? Oh, I think I remember putting a tiny amount of iron in just to sort of theoretically get it started, but it really wasn't enough. Uh, 
Uh, we also don't have oxygen here yet. It says there's 12k in these pipes, but it's not finding its way over to this machine yet. So I guess it's just saturating. I'm surprised it's so much though. It's probably because... Yeah, some of these... These machines take 2k input each as a buffer. And it might count that as being part of that oxygen network. That means it's going to take a sweet time saturating over here. Um, and similarly, ammonia is taking its sweet time saturating from the opposite side. And the iron plate is all at the end over here. So we're going to take our sweet time seeing... Um, seeing that get produced. I need some prod modules. Uh, not that we care too much about the e resource efficiency of the tiny amount of iron that goes into the liquid rocket fuel and everything else being free, but the copious amounts of oxygen and ammonia that go into this recipe uh, we really want to reduce that so we don't have to have 600,000 buildings. Uh, and then same again over here. Well, I mean, we definitely want to get the most out of the solid rocket fuel itself. Cool. Let's get our first trains going. Um, we kind of... Kinda sorta of need to tap into some oil just to run the trains. So I think... wow, that's a lot of crude. 9.3 mil. Um, I think we'll go with an oil block over here. Except I'm gonna change it up a bit. Actually, let me have a look in the editor before I do this, because what I have in mind... I'll keep those for the moment. Uh, is an oil block that's built just to make petroleum, just to keep it simple. Because all we're looking from this whole thing is... All we're looking for is... Um, uh, solid fuel. So, I think we get the most if we just go 90 petroleum gas, even with cracking. Uh, unless prod modules are everywhere, but I don't really want to bother with that in this case. So, 100 crude makes 90 petroleum. Seems a pretty good. This should be way more than enough. Uh, 252 petroleum per second. We're not going to need any more outputs. I guess there's really no reason to keep this layout at all this time. I mean, I'll probably keep some of this, though. Uh, we don't need any cracking, we don't need any lubricant. I think maybe next time, if there is a next time, I mean, I'm sure there will be, that we're still making similar outposts to this. Um, we'll do some more... We'll get some lubricant out of this as well for the autocrafter. But for this outpost, just need the petroleum. And that's going to go in here. Don't need all this. Just the one pickup station will do. And... Could you stop flashing with the no power? Why is it still doing that? Oh, are we paused? We're not, we're not paused, right? 
current speed pause. No? The turbines are spinning. Why are we flashing with the no power? Huh? Oh, because these weren't connected to anything yet. Is that why? Petrol and solid fuel pickup or just petrol here? Um, I was going to do the solid fuel pickup. And I don't really see any reason to bother with the petrol pickup now that you mention it. Um, Alright, let's see. It's fuel refinery, I think. Yep. 20 petroleum makes one solid fuel. Uh, we do the big pickup. And short trains are permissible. Uh, provide stack threshold 80. And then, actually I'm just going to set this to like three cargo wagons. And we'll just push the back to the front all the time. And that should work. Keep it simple. Alright. So, how fast can we make the solid fuel? I really don't think we need to be worrying about how fast it is. As long as it can fuel the trains, it's fine. But we can use up 252 per second if we want. Uh, which is surprisingly easy. Let's go for six of these. Maybe some prod modules while we're at it. And that would only do 96. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to prod module this uh, 10 million crude oil. That's going to do nothing but run our trains. Uh, 9.3 million. I think it's fine. I think we don't need to worry this time. Alright. And a one, two, three. And a substation. And a steel. Oh, that doesn't quite line up. One off. One off again. Can we just move this over a tile? Technically, yes. Yes, we can. I think that's a bit cleaner than the alternative. Uh, and that needs to go down here. If it will last forever, it may as well be forever plus 40%. <laughs> now you're thinking long term. How fast is this? Two per second. Uh, may as well just use the many fast inserters that we brought. And uh, that's pretty much that. Don't actually need the circuit wire here. And we don't need any of these either. Uh, we can actually just put that here directly. I can't line them up perfectly because there's no connection. I could do it like this, I guess. Is that space pipe? It is space pipe. Wait, did I put space pipe down here? No. It's just regular pipe. Fantastic. Okay. How about we do this fast? Snap to grid relative, shift click. And then the only trouble is we need to remember to delete that. Uh, that seems fine to me. And we need... Can't be stretched. What? What? Oh, I see. 
Aw, oh, man. It was going to be a nice, neat power cable layout. There's no way I can... Oh, well, yes there is. If we don't mind piggybacking off of the chain signal here. Just connect that like so. Although, this is just a water... No, it's not. We're not actually going to need any train stops for this one. Um, I'll just remove those for now. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Missed the button. Uh, I wonder how much you guys you can hear that sky vehicle in the background. There we go. It's pretty far away, I guess. Most of the time, I'm pleasantly surprised at how little noise people can hear. Alright. No background noise for now? Nice. Very cool. Alright, so this is going to be solid fuel pickup. Um, I guess if we wanted to do a nice cheap productivity bonus, we could just throw in some fuel processors. How fast would we need these to keep up? Does it actually say? Not really. If I give it some solid fuel... Does rate calc then understand? It does. We'd actually need quite a lot of fuel processes. How much does it add? Like 10%? I think I think we get like 10% more megajoules out of it, right? One online. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, there aren't any biters on this planet, so... Pollution's not really a factor. Okay, so this is 12 per second, and we would need... Holy crap, 27 of these? Nah, I'm good. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to get our crude oil and water from, like, up here. Okay. Let's uh, copy this. I'm not even going to make a blueprint this time. And... I, actually, I am going to make a blueprint, just so we have the snap to grid. 86, 25, 1. Whoops. And... I'm just going to say petroleum... Train stop names, yes. And double check the snappy. Fantastic. That can go here for now. Uh, and we're going to put this around about here. Right below the crude oil and close to the water as well. Alright, let's go remove the obstacles. Why do I have roboports on the ground? We'll never know. Oh, meteors have fallen through. Uh, why do we still have no charge for our media defenses? Uh-oh. Are we still getting... I think... I think our gas power has crashed. Uh, alright. Let's, um, let's disconnect this for the moment until we get stuff charged. Maybe I could put this on a power switch? Maybe that's a terrible idea. Maybe we have most of what we need to make another set of gas power. I think we do. Let's make it happen. Time to panic? Yes. 
Always panic. Alright, so we're going to copy another one of these down here. And hopefully... It's going to be enough. Let's get these damn trees out of the way. Anything else? Looks like we're good, I think. Do I have... I've got lots of Roboports. Let's just see if we can't get the bots to build this one. There we go. If I put this one in construction mode, it's still not far enough. Uh, how about down here for now? Did you come to a decision on the Blueprint Trees mod? Uh, not really. I didn't really have time today. I was, uh... As I said earlier, I got completely clapped by the heat and was desperately recovering before the start of the stream today. Alright. So we're obviously going to put all of our pump jacks here. Fantastic. Uh, let's plan the pipes while we're waiting for the other stuff. This looks like a pretty good spot for these to connect. I'm just going to draw this out and then trim it with uh, underground pipes. Oh, that's a good one. And this one... Uh, maybe over here. This one can't get where it wants to go. That's going to be an underground regardless. And that's pretty tidy, I think. Alright, so undergrounds... Like a so, that looks weird. There we go. And then up here. Seems good. Uh, we might benefit from some steel underground down this way. Oops. That almost links up nicely, but it doesn't. How about down the side? There we go. Maybe this side as well? It's kind of one-off. Probably live with that. Perfect. I am the sky. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Black Desert. What's that? Also, Johan Anderson, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I thought we had lots of greenhouses. What's going on here? Oh, the roboport isn't powered. Okay. I'm gonna want another one of these over here. So that's another convenient spot to connect. And roboport is charging. Fantastic. It's an MMORPG, 
was just testing my internet so people were just hanging out watching a cat video. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, I think I have to handcraft electric boiler. What do I not have here? Copper, heat shield, steel plate. Don't tell me we're out of heat shield. No, I don't think I'm requesting heat shield. Yeah, we've got heat shield. Why am I not requesting it? And what about the copper? Give it to me. I already had a stack of copper, of, of ingots. There we go. Now it's time to hurt my brain trying to do py pyridons. I feel like I made a mistake. Yeah, I've heard that before. Uh, we need 14 fuel refineries, which I always handcraft because it's easy. And we need a bunch of yellow belt. Uh, I think the yellow belt itself doesn't have a passive provider chest. So let's do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pyrodons is the new cool thing. Seen some Reddit post about it. Isn't it just like I, I'm I'm only prejudging by like rumor and the way people talk about it. It just sounds like it's just more production chains all the time. I mean that's what SE is, but you get lots of cool toys. It's overly complicated for no reason. Yeah, that's about the vibe I'm getting. Speaking of the vibe, let's get some more stone over here. There we go. Still got more stone. Okay. For me, it is fun to figure out the production chains. Well, to each their own. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't not enjoy the production chains, uh, especially the complicated ones. Uh, but I like to get some new toys for my trouble. <laughs> uh, we also need a single offshore pump. Actually, we've probably got way more offshore pump than we need. This stuff consumes water really slowly. 737, yep, we could have supported all of this with one offshore, but I don't care. Uh, minimum consumption for the offshore is zero, so it's not like it's costing us anything extra. Uh, so that should get us up to about 120, give or take. Uh, megawatts of power continuously for free. Uh, and how much are we asking of our media defense installations? Um, it's like 10 or 20 megawatts each, right? Depending on if they're charging. So that's 120. Wow, okay. I'm thinking until we get more power, we should limit... Oh, the bot's not going to decon that? There we go. Uh, until we get more power, we should just run like eight media defense installations. And then reconnect that over there. They are charging. Uh, our accumulators are probably crying. Yep. Uh, 160 megawatts, so 80... Yeah, 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 20 megawatts each when they are charging. We're at 14%, and we've used like 30% of our accumulators. 
Um, I don't know how badly power is going to crash when that runs out. But we don't actually have our new power system fully functional just yet. It's about to kick into gear. Maybe I should have waited just a little bit longer. I'm actually curious. Alright, so accumulator charge is about to run out. As the sun goes down at the same time. Uh, electricity is at like 60%. And they're still charging. But it looks like satisfaction is dipping more. Oh, it's all over the place. Whoop, and it's green. Wait. Oh, because we got the new power plant going just in time. Nice. Okay, so now it's green while we've got eight charging. That's good. We should be able to make one more of these. And easily get away with having 12. Not to mention having a bunch of poor mining drills all the time. Cool, no special trees in the way. Uh, let's get our roboports down here. And I think this time I will just lazily connect. Oh, right. Um, I could do it this way. Connect the water system like that. Bots are already on their way with stuff. Fantastic. We're gonna need power pole around about here. And I need to make 14 of these. The rest should come in automatically. Not worth placing all the solar you bought. I might do that, but it's really, really weak. Um, this is a lot more effective, and it's already ready to go. Boiler? Thank you. Should have maybe done that first. I don't know. Alright. Uh, and we need the robot network to find it all. Fantastic. Alright, how about up here? Um, while I'm handcrafting a bunch of that stuff, I could probably go do the other build. Let's just automatically resupply whatever the bots are going to give us. Don't need that many undergrounds for this build, for once. And that's probably good enough for now. Definitely should have grabbed more rail, but I'm not overly concerned about that for the moment. Uh, I think my bots are lost, yep. I mostly just want to get rid of the weird trees and put down the landfill and stuff so that we can actually place the blueprint properly. I mean, put in the landfill, you know what I mean. I also forgot to pick up the pump jacks. Alright, so about here and here and Big pole, that's a medium. Big pole, right about... Nope. Oh, it's one off, really? Ravna. Uh, I guess I could put it here. It's fine. And one more 
move here. Should have full coverage. We still need more pipe. Oh yeah, because we put a bunch of bunch of pipe down here as well. Uh, and we're short on fuel refineries. What's this guy waiting for? Oh, the cliff explosives. Alright. Let's go get some. The topmost pump jack is unpowered. Alrighty. Top most pump jack. Oh, I think it is powered. Oh, this one. I didn't even see it. Is that gonna... Go up a bit higher. Here? Yeah? Is that it? I th think that'll cover everything. Alright, where are our pump jacks? Here they are. That's only eight. There's the rest of them. Uh, and if we've got any oil refineries, they were already delivered. Let's go put down the rest of our power plant. Looks like we're waiting on more gas power stations to get built. Uh, we're short steel beams. Oh, because I was just manually putting steel in here earlier. That's fine. There you go. Bonk. Midden. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, you will need another six fuel refineries. Uh... Really? I thought I handcrafted them the right count. Nope. I guess not. Alright. While that's happening... Let's go do the other build. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get lots of rail while we're at it. And where is the rail? Here it is. That's not as much as I intended to carry. That's a bit better. It's Sunday, and I don't have to work, so how bad could it be? Uh, good question. Hopefully we don't find out. Well, I was going to place a bunch of rail over here, but... I guess we just do this first. of random cliff explosion for no reason. Hopefully we don't run out. There's our refineries. There's our pump jacks. And how much uh, water would we need? Very little. Just a single offshore pump is going to be way more than enough. I wish I could press Q on the water and find the offshore pump. There it is. Uh, how about... Let's see if we can line this up. Not exactly. We're going to need some steel. That doesn't quite reach. Okay. How about here? Nice bit of symmetry. And we need some rail and power connection over here. 
Um, how about I copy paste like this? And wait, turn my bots off first. Because we're going to use the rocket launcher over here. That's pretty effective. Almost killed the signal. I might have killed this signal. I think we're just short on regular rail signals though because... Um, because I haven't been manufacturing them. Okay. How's power? It's all connected. We got oil. We got no water because I because I didn't connect it. I was gonna say because I didn't power it, but that wasn't quite true. There we go. And where's our crude oil? Uh, struggling to make its way through here. Actually, we only need like one of these. Literally. Fantastic. And there's our solid fuel. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Missed yesterday, but progress looks good. Yeah, uh, we are just maybe halfway done finishing our outpost for Holmium. Uh, as we wait for some research. Um, we need a lot, and I do mean a lot, of barrel to do our space elevator research, but we've already got most of it. Um, last I checked... Oh, did we already send it up? Yeah, we did. Uh, so we already had at least, like, a third, maybe, um, of the barrel that we need to get through the research, um, as ingots, that is. Um... Why are we out of barrel? Uh-oh. What's going on with the barrel? I think the planet is Exorion. We've got cargo rocket sections, liquid rocket fuel, space capsule. For both of these. We've got loads of core fragments. Um, apparently there's something wrong with the trains. No path? Where are you trying to go? Pick up barrel. Oh. Oh, I think we have like one cargo wagon for long trains. And it's no pathing to the new... Uh, to our newest... Um, Wow, that's 18 million barrel over there? Jeez. Uh, this one. It says it's got no path probably to here. Because there's a tiny bit of rail missing. Are you kidding? It looks like that's all in range. So I don't even have to send the train over there. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What am I supposed to type here? Uh, anything special, like I want it on X planet, or within reason, if you want to say something like Larius was here? I don't know. Do you want it here? On Exorian? For example? Dealer's choice? Alright, so one more for the barrel planet. And let me just mark that off the list. 
Uh, before I forget... Thank you, no worries, you're welcome. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Alright, review requests, name in base, Larius, check. So JMO again? No, that was 20 hours ago. Uh, did we do so JMO yesterday? I think I would have crossed it off the list if I did. Let's check the other planets real quick. Uh, Gibel. I don't have any names on Gibel yet. Hagen. No, I think I just did Sir JMO from yesterday. RF Holloway as well, while you're there, so the same planet. RF Holloway? Which planet did you do Sir JMO on? Oh, you're saying I did do it. Uh, let's have a look at Nalvis, I forgot to check Nalvis. Yeah, 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 I did do such AMO. Okay. Alright. Just forgot to check it off. Alright, so our one train that's providing us with barrel uh, should be in motion now. Yes. It's got a bunch of catching up to do. Do we have... Trains. We've got cargo wagons. We've got locos. Yes, we do. Alright. Um, can I place them... That's a bit messed up. Uh, can I place them in a location... This is just out of range. Do we have any more robopots? Nope. Uh, can I put the train in the construction train? Train reproduction. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go with two locos, two cargo wagons. Once we're done putting in the rail, I guess. And everything else. Good grief. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put our construction train up here. For just a little while. We're going to grab our blueprint. Or LCCL train and place that probably over here. Good thing this one didn't park in that spot. Here comes our construction train. And we'll wait for inactivity get fully refueled, and we'll have twice as many cargo wagons on Exorion. Fantastic. That is more crashed cargo rocket. Wait, really? Crashed ship. Yeah, that's what that is. Uh, our cargo landing pad is here, and this, this is where the ship can crash. More than... it's like two and a half rail blocks away. Bruh. Not happy, Jan. How did it get up there? Because cargo rockets are terrible, that's why. Okay. Um, do we have any repair packs? Probably not. Oh, we do. Okay. Um, don't worry about the rail. Actually, I should have just turned this one off for now. You know what? Forget everything. 
just get some repair packs. And then park yourself over here for a bit. The pilot has been posthumously fired. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Stricken from the records as well. What do we need here? Oh, the, uh, the fuel refineries I was handcrafting. Why am I carrying scrap? There we go. Should have plenty of power now. And we should be able to run the rest of our media defense installations comfortably. Missing some belt for the new power plant. We've got it being manufactured. It's it's already there. Oh, some underground belt. Um, uh, I could handcraft it, but just so that I don't have to do that again. Let's park it over here. I don't have a passive. There we go. Cool. And then... Rail. Uh, the construction train has rail. Let's just send it over... Oh, I don't actually have uh, roboports in it yet. Can I handcraft... No, we need personal roboports, which means we need batteries. I don't want to go to the trouble of sending batteries, just for this. I'll just give it all these. And I'll probably give it a few more before we go. Personal roboports. Okay. Uh, for the moment, I'll take that and we'll go build it ourselves. How's our liquid rocket fuel? We haven't made any. Products finished too. Products finished too. Uh, yes, we have all of it. All of the liquid rocket fuel we've made, all two hundred of it, in, is in this steel pump. Uh, probably because I actually don't have yellow inserters here. We're missing ten right now. And the whole thing needs 16, so I'll handcraft those as well before I need it for the next one. Uh, Gris Horde, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Nice uh, raid emote. How's your stream today? Factorio, seems good. Ifrijan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I need to get some iron plate coming here already. That's why we need the fuel for the trains. Um, so it can get delivered here as a matter of course. And thank you for the follow as well. A wild ride. I was doing Vita on a Bita Media Planet. And chat decided to drop all the medias. Oh no. 
You had chat integration with Bida Medias? That's a recipe for disaster. Uh, and thank you for the follow as well. Alright, let's place the rest of these. And we'll replace whatever's missing for the rail block. Still something in the way over here and down here. I want to drop Meteors too, Mass Lander. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Please don't drop meteors on me. Uh, unfortunately, I have to manually remove a bunch of these trees because they sort of, in a weird way, count as buildings, but you can't deconstruct them. Um, courtesy of a certain mod that I will probably remove next time. Uh, but yeah, that is a good start for the solid fuel. Let's put it into our short train. Not counting the construction train, this will be our first train for this, uh, this planet. Uh, this is our first dual depot that does both short trains and long trains. We're going to do four short trains here, potentially. Uh, I should have a blueprint for that. LCL, there it is. And... Away you go. And there's our fuel. Sorry to raid and run. No, that's fine. I totally get it. Uh, but I came off 13 hours and I'm hungry. Fair enough. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. And thanks for the raid. Oh, and let me just check you out next time as well. Where's the follow button? No, really, where is the follow button? Right click. I don't want to purge, ban, or delete. Can I slash follow? Report. There we go. Unrecognized command. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Sort that out later. There's our iron. That was not a whole lot of iron. Actually. Uh, we actually already do have... Wait, what? Oh, we're still missing those yellow inserters that I just handcrafted. Fantastic. Okay. So there's our solid rocket fuel. Uh, to make our liquid rocket fuel. So that we can send this stuff back to base. And we're paying, apart from infinite resources, we're paying nothing but iron for the liquid rocket fuel. But it is a bit slow. Did you sort the iron shortage on this outpost? Uh, yes, I sent copious amounts of iron in a rocket. Uh, once the whole thing's set up, we will be sending iron here regularly. But I sent a lot of ingots. So we don't run out like that again. Uh, what else are we doing? We're definite. Why do I only have one locomotive left? Get in there. I have to make 15... 15 multi-cylinder engines. I don't have any spare. Ravna. Okay. Um... If multi-cylinder engine is greater than 50, you may take multi-cylinder engine. 
if we're going to do it like that, this should probably be a buffer chest. Uh, let's see. Property cylinder. We don't have any. I guess we'll just do the lengthy craft for the next locomotive. And... Uh, I didn't actually do that... Uh, that drill yet. When's our next CME? It is headed for Granis in seven and a half hours. Is that the one we already dealt with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's We've been waiting for this one for ages. And we've already got a ludicrous amount of stored energy to deal with it. Let's grab some more stone from over here. Actually, come to think of it, we've got... Oh, it's a steel chest. That's why. That's all I had to do. Uh, what else was I doing? Let me just add some tags here so we know what's what. Solid fuel. Um, that's obviously the mall. And... I may as well put some gas power station down here. Okay. Now then. I was looking for drills. The big kind. The really big kind. Here we go. And we need a accumulator. Whoops. If accumulator charge is below 80%, do not allow the drill to run. Uh, let's see. Passive provider. And... Long trains only, I think. This is core fragments. Fulminite. Uh, and we're just going to limit this to one cargo wagon each, just so it stays balanced. And we can fit another cargo wagon in here, and a tiny bit on the belt. We will be needing some electricity. Seems like a good idea. And we'll need the train to be able to get back onto the correct side of the tracks. There we go. Uh, why is it not powered? Because it's not connected. There we go. Alright, so we should be able to afford uh, at least three more coal mining drills with our current power. Where was I going? Who knows. Let's put another drill down here. A55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More faster. We're working on it. Uh, if I take from the roundabout, we can... I didn't copy-paste that yet. Uh, if I take from the roundabout, we can have a very simple um, signaling setup here, where the train just goes in and out the same way. Let's do another 3x3 three three chest. Nice connection. And accumulate for... Uh, only if 
accumulator charge greater than 80%. Zaiden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And that's already set up. Uh, two more of these, I think. I think I already set up this station. Yeah, we're good. How many trains do I have? I've only got the, the one short train. That's why I was uh, handcrafting locomotives. Okay. Let's grab a LCCL train. Right about here, I think. And a sushi belt of solid fuel that isn't quite saturated yet. A solid sushi saturation is suboptimal uh, for the moment. But I think if I just wait until the fuel gets over here, and then we'll see inactivity not being reached. This train should get reasonably well fueled up before it goes anywhere. Do we have... I need more signals, but... It looks like we do... Oh, oh, we really need more signals. I don't think the train has path. Rail still missing at solid fuel. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, let's pick up... Our signals... I'm only requesting 50 at a time right now. It's a bit of a problem. Let's put some of this stuff away. Um, don't need those right now. Don't need those right now. Don't need these right now. Definitely don't need those. Why do I have like 13 heavy rockets in my inventory like that? Alright, regardless, give me some extra signals. That's way no nowhere near enough. Let's allow a few more stacks of those to get built. Really should improve my factory too. Yes, always. More and more improvements. Never enough. Alright, we actually have 14k liquid rocket fuel. Ooh, I wonder how much it costs to go to Hagen from here. It's only 52k. That's excellent. Um, that's perfect for the first planet where we're using the, the water source. Um, to get our liquid rocket fuel, where it's really quite slow. I mean, we're going to be doubling that build, but still, we're only getting, uh, not actually 49 liquid rocket fuel per second, more like a bit over half that, so like almost 30. Alright, let's test. Does our short train have path? It does not. Uh, we need some more signals over to the left. And I actually do have another 60. Is that all it took? No. We need a bunch of regular signals as well. Might just handcraft. Um... But I'll pick up some more multi-cylinders before we handcraft another locomotive. There we go. Okay. So we are needing... Uh, 16... less than 20 regular signals. Uh, what else did we have missing? Should have looked. A single big power pole, a single wind turbine 
some rail, and a lot of chain signals. Where am I missing a big power pole? Oh, down here. Or up here, I guess. 69% on atomic bomb. Nice. Very good. And let's get some more chain signals. How do I have one robo uh, logistic bot in my inventory? I'll be taking those. And let's just fly over all of the rail to make sure we're not missing. Yep, there we go. Those regular signals are irrelevant for the moment, but who cares? We've got plenty of iron here now. Fantastic. It gets consumed incredibly slowly, so not worried about that. Alright, so our short train should now have path over this way. Excellent. I'm surprised it hasn't scheduled a delivery yet. Oh, this should have been limited as well to 40 stacks. Uh, provide stack threshold 120, and we've got 14k here. Uh, that is way more than 120 stacks. Uh, I think I didn't set a request here for solid fuel yet, that's why. Okay. Solid fuel... Um, 50 times 20? No, 50 times 40. Uh, 4,000? No, 2,000. 4,000 would be a couple of short train loads. That was quick. Oh. Our trains should be good and loaded quite soon. Uh, do we even need a fluid wagon? Yeah, we do, for the liquid rocket fuel. And possibly for nothing else. Alright, let's go build it. Build everything else up here while we can. Down we go. I think we got everything here. Let's just double check real quick. need vision. Nothing? Okay, there's a couple of chain signals missing down this way. And that's about it. Where was it exactly? Where... Are we missing the chain signals? Did we get them? I think we got them. No. They're up here? No? They're over here? Some... What the... Where are they? I, I'm so confused. Where are we missing chain signal? It's not the top block. It's not... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Is this it? No? Some Somewhere around here? No? What? What? Is it somewhere that's not actually where we're trying to build? 
yeah, here they are. You sneaky ghosts. Alright. I think we've actually built all of this. Except for the train that we've got scheduled. There we go. What are you laughing at? How dare you? Alright. That should be fine. Looks like our sushi is saturated. Very nice. I definitely like this shared um, depot. It's like plenty of capacity, but way more capacity than we need for a, for an outpost, but um, it's not that big. Uh, and why don't we have cargo rocket sections? Probably because we haven't yet received a shipment from back here. Verb team multi-rocket request. It's actually full. Oh, I didn't put it on auto-launch yet. Alright, that's fine. Uh, and there's a copious amount of ammo as well. Here comes a rocket. And this is the part where I realize we need to spread out our roboports a ridiculous amount to catch the crashed rockets. Um, do I have some lying around? Yes. At least this one didn't crash. And we don't have any liquid rocket fuel yet. We haven't hit 50k. Okay. Uh, do we have cliff explosives? We've still got 111. I think we brought enough. Give me all those cliff explosives. And clear this place out. Make sure we don't need any landfill first. And copy paste all of this over here. Fantastic. Now I need to go pick up the unusual stuff like electrolysis plants, loads of chemical plants. I need to make uh, 16 fuel refineries. I already made the yellow inserters. Don't tell me we're out of blue belt. I'll cry. Oh, and a rocket is, well, not exactly ready to launch. It's waiting on fuel. But uh, that's a good sight to see, nevertheless. Uh, what was I coming back here for? Do we have blue belt? We're out of blue belt. I should just downgrade this belt here. Except for maybe those undergrounds. Uh, upgrade planner, red belt. Like so. This is probably fine. Uh, I also needed the electrolysis plants. Uh, copious chemical plants. How many did we bring? I mean, I can make them pretty easily. We have... several. Okay, we build. Seventy five percent on atomic bomb. Fantastic. I hope we've got enough uh, efficiency still. Thirty four remain. Yeah, I think we brought just enough, really. Hard to see, but these ones do have efficiency modules. Uh, a 
Apparently I didn't bring enough Atmo condensers. We should have quite a few of them to spare over here already though. Yep. And we're going to need a whole bunch of pipe. Let's bump this back up to 250. How much uh, straight pipe do we need? 371. Okay. Oh, and we'll need some water here, but we hardly need any water, right? For the whole thing? We need 540 per second. Um, this can do 1250 in theory. It should be okay if I bring water across like this. Uh, but then I don't actually have it so that all of these are connected. Oh wow, I didn't build this very well for not building it next to water like that. Um, I could maybe move some of these wind turbines to make this happen. Let's see. May as well have that connect, like so. Do we have room over this side, perhaps, to connect the water? This is in the way. I could go around it. If I do it like this, that's not going to work. Build it above the running setup? Up here? That might be a good idea. It's not too loud. Here comes the iron. No. Well, it's still not too late to move it. It's just a bit more of a hassle. I kind of want it here, though. Um, I'll probably find a way to make the water work. Let's move these. And we technically don't even need these two big poles. I think. So we should be able to just have water like so. Oh, I'm far apart of those. So, like this. And that's obviously going to be a problem. Uh, perhaps we could snake it through here just once. Yeah, there we go. That works. I think with the volume of water that we need, that pipe flow shouldn't be a problem. Um, we could add a pump to help it. It's 1,080 water per second. We can get 1,250 from here. Might need to add a pump or two. We'll see. I may as well just add one now. And like so. If you expand the RoboPort, you could get the bots to place the underground pipes. Uh, this is true. It's also close enough that the cargo rockets could crash here as well. So I may as well. If I turn this into construction mode, that actually reaches. Fantastic. 
and one over here. That's fine. We'll be needing one in this general direction as well. Ouch, spicy rocks. Uh, they hurt even when they're in my trash. Get out of here. Damn it. And again with the spicy. You can hold it in your hand and it doesn't hurt. That's how that's how radiation works. A thousand percent. How's our coverage? We need more. Lots more. Can you trash them, then do the navsat hack? Oh I forgot about that one. That's a cheesy one. Alright, that looks Pretty good to me. I hope. Uh, let's also potentially have one of these over here. And over here, I guess. Oh, I can just put this one into construction mode. Actually, now it has no logistic coverage here. Never mind. Uh, but also, there'd be kind of a gap up this way. That seems good. And we need some more coverage down south as well. Frickin' cargo rockets. Okay, how about... Around about here somewhere. And... Around about... Here... Somewhere. That's decent. Maybe I should do it over here as well. Definitely over this way. How far do I have to go to get a connection here? Bruh. Bruh. Right, fine. Um, I really don't want to have to put another RoboPort over here. Can I move this one down a bit? There's like two tiles of coverage we don't have. And I wanted to add one up here regardless. I could definitely change my pipe requests back to normal. Construction... I mean RoboPort. Right about here somewhere. Where do I need to put it? This seems good. That seems better. There's a little gap over there though. That should be fine. Uh, 
Is that thing with round glass roof you removed yesterday due to power matter? Uh, do you mean the, um, uh, the umbrella? Yes, but no. Because I don't think we would have the power to block uh, a coronal mass ejection. Uh, like, we'd, we'd block some of it, and then the energy beam would get through. If, the, if we have a coronal mass ejection coming for this planet, I'll come back and build a steam uh, turbine setup. Or I could just build it before we leave. That might be good. Alright, so bots are still taking their sweet time finishing this build. How much liquid rocket fuel do we have over here? Ooh, more than 50k has been made. We've got... There we go. Almost one rocket launch of Holmanite. Liquid rocket fuel has been delivered already. Fantastic. Especially since we're not actually consuming Holmanite that fast yet. This is going to be very handy. It's also going to make our finite Holmanite on our main planet last a lot longer. So we're not getting any ammonia because we're not getting any hydrogen because we're not getting water because the pipe's not finished. I really need to see this in action to make sure the... Um, uh, the water throughput is sufficient. Oh, here we go. I want to see how much uptime this last machine has. Judging by the fact that the water input instantly refilled, uh, I think we're going to be fine. Do you want to set the rocket to manual launch so you can go home? Did I not do that? I guess not. Uh, I don't really mind if it launches once, at least, before we go back. I've got a few more things to do here, I think. Like, add a couple more drills, at least. Probably add some more power and... I don't know, our drills are probably going to easily keep up with our liquid rocket fuel production, as is. Yeah, I, I think we're very bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel. Uh, even once this double system uh, does its thing. And do its thing it is about to. If you don't have processing, will the landing pad empty? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, if we don't have Holmanite processing? Uh, we do have Holmanite processing, just not the core fragments. Uh, so that's a good point. Yeah, you're right, the landing pad's not going to empty. Um, and you know what? Since we're bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel and we can... Where am I going? Uh, since we're bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel, and we can store quite a lot of it, like, almost four rocket launches per huge storage tank, and we've got one, two, uh, three, four, five, if I use this for the same stuff, uh, then, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good point, actually. Let's set this to manual launch. And we need to make Holmanite Core Fragment Processing. Alright, let's delete this. And once the game finishes arbitrarily repathing every train on every surface, we can place down another one. Very psychedelic world. Yeah, I like it. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, alright, we need pulverizers, as always. Uh, core fragment processing holmanite. And holmanite stacks to... I was going to say 50, it's actually only 20. Hmm, should we do extra processing in the same block? Like we did with cryonite? Or vulcanite? Let me just double check what we did do. Yeah, uh, Vulcanite only only stacks to 20, so we did some extra processing in the same block. Cryonite, same deal. Um, Cryonite only stacks to 20, so we did some processing down here. So I think we'll go with that. Have to offset my entire rail system by two tiles. Uh-oh. Reba Freddy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's put in wide area beacon placement for later. And start figuring out our ratio for prod three modules. And hopefully, it'll fit pretty neatly with this. Uh, so we're going to have, at this stage of the game, a couple of... Where are my robopods? I just need something to mark where the beacon's going to go later. Without the beacon sign uh, sickness. Luckily, I didn't had put the rail system down, so no need to remove everything. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, I need some power. I need some power. And we need to see what sort of ratio. So it is pulverizer for the next step, right? Hormonite in, crushed hormonite, and stone out. Very similar to what we've had before. Let's see what this ratio looks like. Actually, I want to put some speed and efficiency in. Uh, it's not going to be much speed, otherwise we're still going to be paying horrific amounts of power cost. Plus 100%. Uh, plus 10%? Jeez. It's negative 60% crafting speed, but extra power cost. Let me just check what I'm doing with the other builds on Hagen. Vulcanite, for example. It's like two speed. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, two speed. The rest are prods and efficiencies. We get... that's actually pretty close. Slightly negative on the Holmanite. So the Holmanite is going to back up. Which means we're not going to process the core fragments as fast as advertised. We can process 8 per second here. 16 per second if I double it. Um, how many drills do I have? Two... Let me just pick one up so I can easily calculate. If we have four drills as planned, uh, what would be our rate? 18.44. Okay. So if we can do 16 per second... Actually slightly less than that. It's still going to be bottlenecked on one processing block. But I think we're going to be bottlenecked on... Yeah, we're going to be bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel production here anyway. Uh, which I'm okay with, I think. I could build even more of these. But I'm not 
that worried yet about Holmanite. We've got another 22k and a half waiting to be picked up as well. That's half a rocket. Whoops. Uh, obviously, if I change the ratio anymore, it's not going to fit very well. That's going to consume all the Holmanite and then some. And only deal with 2.8 core fragments per second. So if I do it this way, we're going to be very much bottlenecked on processing the Holmanite. Uh, and it would be difficult, I think. Hold on. That's slightly positive on Hormonite. Considering the volume, it's actually not that slight. So we could deal with 10.4 core fragments. I don't want to lay it out like that. Okay. So each of these individually... Only 1.2 core fragments in. We'll just do a belt down the middle. Maybe move these in one. So that can come from there. How about the old 3x3 three three chest? Do some fast and serves like so. Why can't I click this? There we go. And one like this. Get some undergrounds. And then in here, I think. Seems good. So that's our input. Um, if I'm going to mirror it on the same on the other side, it's going to go right about here. Should have done it like this, actually. Do these mods actually work to get together? Uh, yes. Good morning. Uh, luckily I didn't have... Oh yeah, I read that. Space rail bonk? What? Oh, space rail. Yes. This is true. Alright. Uh, so the whole thing can do... A bit under 18 core fragments per second. That should actually be significantly more than we need for a little while. Um, and then we have to deal with the outputs. So the outputs of this is regular core fragments, stone, holmanite. We're going to do the same regular core fragments, stone output over here that we've done before. Still one bit of rail on the right is not. Um, let's just copy paste this part. And we'll probably do the exact same thing. Uh, I forgot to make room for the loaders. There we go. And it looks like this is the old design where we check if there's a train. I need to do that. Uh, 
Um, in fact, considering... Considering how small the throughput is going to be for these stations, I don't know why I bothered with the belts. We're just going to limit them to 40 stacks for each cargo wagon and 40 stacks in here. And it's a super high priority to pick up regardless. Okay, now we need to do the filtered outputs. I can probably copy again from Vulcanite. Uh, nope, I did something totally different here. I would have thought we'd have like filtered outputs on the opposite sides. What about Cryonite? That's what I had in mind. Pretty much, more or less. Yeah, that's, that's like exactly what I was thinking. Except this layout here is a bit more spacious than we need. So Cryonite goes to these two, everything else goes to here, and then it all gets sorted. Uh, kind of like that one. Don't know if we have room in the middle with the way we laid this out, though. We actually do. Kind of. This is backward. Uh, this will be... I think it's stone. Wait, I can check. Stone and vanilla core fragment. Stone. And that'll find its way over here. Oh. Uh, did I do that wrong? Very. Very wrong. Let's double check our ratio again. Slightly negative on the Holmanite. Wait, slightly negative? That's actually good. It means we consume all the Holmanite. Cool, I misread that. Yeah, that's a pretty good ratio, actually. Uh, but yeah, these ones are not going to have inputs over here. And I could probably move this up a bit if necessary. So we get crushed, holmanite, and stone coming out this way. Um, I could probably just push the stone over here. Honestly, I could just belt it, belt everything into this big container. Uh, except I want to cut off Holmanite on the way. So it goes straight into these. I wish I already had filtered long arms. That would be very useful here. Um, I think we have room, though, to just do filtered like this. This is Holmanite. And here, and here, and here, I guess. Oh, that doesn't fit. Unless I do it like this and have this one output to a specific side of the belt, which is to say the near side. I really don't like the look of that, but the rate that we're going to get Holmanite, 8.44 per second, it's totally correct to do it this way. And 
and just bring it down here. It'll do. Let's get some test inputs. Bracket Holmanite for core fragments. And super inserters. Don't you al already have a block with raw Holmanite pr uh, processing? I do. It's just that the stack size of raw Holmanite is so small. Then again, the rate from here is pretty low. That's a good point. Um, let's have a look. Where's Holmanite processing? I think it goes straight into making the ingots. And I think they're up here, actually. This is the old Holmanite build. We've actually got a few of these. Yeah, we are dropping off raw Holmanite. Um, how fast does it get consumed? 16 per second. It's a bit less than a stack. That's not too bad. Um... And if we were to make this whole thing core fragment processing, an entire block could do 27 Holmanite per second. That's less than a stack and a half. Uh, maybe that's not so bad, actually. And we can have a much neater build as a result. Okay, get rid of this mess. And all of that. And that's going to greatly simplify what we're doing in this block. Alright, flip that around. Uh, I don't think we need such a giant container for organizing this stuff. I should be able to just do the outputs like this. Oh wait, I, I forgot, it doesn't fit here. Oh, I can actually just snake this around? Is that going to look horrible? I don't think it's that bad. Or maybe I'm lying to myself. What if instead... We do this again? With... The undergrounds. Wait, what? That doesn't look right. Um, something like this. Alternatively... I think this is going to look tidier. Yeah, I think that's going to look a lot better. Alright, so like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Probably super unnecessary with the throughput we're getting. But inserters like to only pick up one type of item at a time, so I do like loaders for this. Don't you already have... yes, yes, yes. Uh, total output is like three, four, five... maybe ten items per second. So I really don't need to worry about which side of the belt we're using.
Can we stop making a mess? There we go. Um, that said... I might just turn these around. Oh, that, that has some good reach. So that's going to be on the... They're all going to be on the close side if I do it like that. About 16, 17 or so items per second. That's actually okay. Um, let's just prove it real quick. We should have no issue with uh, stuff getting backed up due to the output belt. And then exact same thing but reversed on the other side. Uh, and then we have our filters. I can either use like three splitters. We can just have a container. It's going to be a bit cleaner looking. And stone. And... Oops. So I think this is just going to go here. Pulmonite is going to go over here. And come to think of it, probably should look something like this. And then push to the front. Try going with this keep it simple version to allow short and long trains to pick this up theoretically. We're just gonna go provide stack threshold, three cargo wagons, and constantly try to push everything to the front and limit the one at the front. Alright, so Holmanite per second for the whole thing is way below a blue belt. Um, inputs shouldn't be too much for the belts that we've got. Or the inserters for that matter. And that's basically it. Why are there four fragments here? Because this isn't actually filtered. Pulmonite. There we go. Seems good. Um, because these two are just using opposite sides of the belt, we could probably just do it like that. Don't forget power, indeed. Uh, we can fit this here very nicely. Or I might want to start with... That's a good fit. And over here, maybe like that. Um, just barely cover all of those that way.
seems good. Let's get some power over here. Um, let me just grab all of these power poles, substations even, nothing else. And that's going to go right about here. Would these already be powered? Nope. That's, that's nice and symmetrical. Beautiful. Uh, we don't actually need any stations over here. It's already done. And I think this is probably our build. Formanite. And... That's all set up correctly. Probably do the same thing here. Allow short trains. So these are high priority pickups because they are side outputs. Uh, and we need Holmium Core Fragment Requester. Bracket H. Uh, and obviously that's going into pulverizers. And out comes Holmium. Fantastic. Network ID set? We don't need to. Um, we have network IDs for infinite sources. Oh, sorry, for finite sources of um, resources that we don't want to throw in the trash. Uh, we've only got a specific few resources that we actually send to storage that will eventually get turned into landfill if it's not picked up. Uh, but for infinite resources, we don't have to worry about it. Oh, and we're requesting Hormonite Core Fragments. Uh, Anova Blackwood, thank you for the hot, uh, follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I believe it's 3200 for two train loads. Engineers Fox, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we need let, to let LTN know when there's stuff in here. Oh, I think we're done, Ski. And we snap to grid. Train stop names, absolute. Chromium Core Fragment Processing. I have a rare site outside. It's snowing here. Uh-oh. Uh, is that it? I think so. Alright, let's check. Oh, and it changed the snap. Let's check that snaps correctly and rotates. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, and that's going to be our blueprint. Got my new PC to work. Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, Holmium core fragments are coming in here, I think. Yes. So let's put the processing block. What the heck is this? Four fragments. What's this for? Oh, I could actually build this here. Yeah, we've got room. Let's -a do it. Um, let's get our construction train. Does it have the two by two containers? It does. Uh, it needs a bit of help, though, first. 
blueprint includes Roboplot. Um, that was just a placeholder. For the white area beacon later on. Yep. Alright, I guess we wait for our train to get reloaded. takes a little time. We don't have enough cannons? We do. I mean, uh, cannon chests. We're still loading up regular, I mean, Mark II electric mining drills here. Let's not do that anymore. Um, do we have big drills? We do have big drills. And let's stop requesting the mining drills, and they will just find their way back to the mall. To get turned into bigger drills. So we just gained a few stacks. Um, I won't bother unloading them this time. Fantastic. Alright, let's park our train over here, I think. Wait for inactivity. And once we remove those two bulk rail loaders, we should, uh, for the most part, be able to just paste this blueprint in. There might be a thing or two that I want to remove. Move those ghosts real quick. There we go. Um, and that should be okay. Why did we not place this here. Alright. I don't have that many pulverizers per trip, so we're going to have to make a few extra trips. May as well get the bots to pick up this stuff while we're at it, since we've already got them waiting to get back in the train overfilled. Alright, I'm just gonna get, at least for now, time past two minutes. So that the bots should be able to get back and empty themselves. The train stations aren't aligned, will that break it? No it won't. Um, the blueprint only had the one outfit station down here. Um, a train stop here isn't going to cause problems. I might have to play with the, the chain signals a little bit. But it shouldn't be an issue. Why do we have no power? Did all of these fire? No. Why do we have no power? Media defense installation ate a bunch of power half an hour ago. We got some dips over here. Why is it dipping every now and again? Did I demand too much with the fuel refineries that have prod modules? I think that might be it. Alright, we can make another one of these. Down here. And 
that should actually get done automatically, except for the 14 fuel refineries, as usual. Three percent poggies on space elevator. Four percent. Hell yes. Um, I think it's going to go pretty fast to like thirty to fifty percent, uh, and then we have to send more holmium, not holmium, barrel uh, ingots. Moving. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how many ingots do we have up here? 705 beryllium ingot, uh, times 10 is plate, 7,000, and the I set it up so that the only thing we need the plate for, we're not going to use it to save steel and stuff um, for the blank frames, at least not yet. Uh, we need 10 plate per Astro Science pack. So one ingot. Uh, so we got 700 Astro Science Pack coming, which means about, before prod bonuses, 35% uh, of the space elevator. So we should be at like... Um, probably at least 55-60% done in terms of the materials we've already got up here for the space elevator. So if we can just get some more delivered um, before it gets that far, then it'll be a smooth ride. Do you have advice to play for the first time Terraria? Uh, sure. Triple X Poser, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, some of my advice would be Cactus Armor is amazing. Like, Cactus Armor, if you get it right at the start of the game, is actually S tier. Because when you get... when you, like, fall down somewhere and get swamped by slimes, uh, as long as you don't take too many hits, they'll actually just kill themselves attacking you. Uh, what else? First time Terraria player. Um, don't go to the corruption yet. Don't go to the jungle yet. Uh, when you find a grav potion, use it to start looking for sky islands. And... I don't know, for the early game off the top of my head, that's most of it? Why do you have 33 storage errors? That's Hagen Orbit. Uh, because train. Construction train is being weird. There was probably a crash. Yeah, there was a cargo rocket crash. And the bots from the construction train jumped out and grabbed everything. And then there was no room in the train, because that's where they brought it back to. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, that should... How many efficiency modules do we have? Zero. Uh-oh. I don't want to go back for like 20 more efficiency modules, but it does mean we'll get less power out of this. Oh, I've got a bunch of spares in these buildings over here. How about I just do it like this? Nothing. And now we have 20 efficiencies. 
And there's some more up here, I believe. Nope, not really. There's like four. There's literally four. How many are we missing? Uh, probably nothing. We've got one, two that we need to place. And it seems like everything else is done. I can't defeat the wall of flesh on the largest map size from the one side to the other. Um, if you consider an effective strategy to be a spoiler, then cover your ears. Because the B gun is overpowered against the wall of flesh. It, it, it is the ideal tool. Um, you can stay far away from the wall of flesh. You don't really have to aim. Just spam bees at it. And it'll... It'll get the job done, even if you don't have a hive pack to buff the bees. Bee nades, yes, those would also be valid. Bronkly, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but the bee gun, you can stay very far away from the wall of flesh, and the bees will still do a ton of damage. Also, the media armor set is actually by far the most mag uh, by far the best dps set that you can get for a long time even going into hard mode so that'll synergize with the b gun and you don't have to worry about running out of b nades all right so we've got wood actually let me grab the random wood that we've got um get it out of here Instead of having it lying around. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize we were doing this. That's a lot of wood. That'll definitely be enough to kickstart our... Uh, can I just, like, shift C this? I can. That'll be enough to kickstart this thing a little bit faster. On PC, a friend dragged me through the game. It was fun. Nice. I have to try it. Uh, I got Terraria for Xbox and PC. Nice. Uh, yeah, Terraria, there's a lot of time that goes into, like, exploring. Um, and looking for new gear, and especially if you're going in blind. Um, and it is... It is easy to get relatively stuck for a time as well. Um, but just have those expectations in mind going in. It's a nice game, so I don't mind buying it for both platforms. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to say something wrong now in case it's changed, but uh, Terraria was by far one of the best value games I ever bought. Uh, very cheap and just insane amounts of content. Okay. Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream? Just chatting about Factorio. Veldak, Professional Dave, Ob Obada, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Coming in hot with the Seaf Cat Train. Played it like four years ago last time. Yeah, they add a lot to it over time. Big Brain, thank you. How's our liquid rocket fuel? Pretty good, I think. Uh, we've actually got enough for almost another two launches already. Okay, is there anything else I want to do on this planet before I go? Because I think we're pretty much done, apart from removing these useless miners. Why are your transport belt icons not updated? Because I got a mod to un-update them. 
Uh, I, I don't like this this version. Does it say it here? No, I can't see it, the name of the mod. It's pretty easy to find, though. Why do I have raw rare metals? Oh, probably from the asteroids. And why are there no Logibots? There are Logibots. There we go. 1.1.68 belt icons is the mod name. Thank you. Uh, I could hang around and build... Where is it? This thing. I'd need to make 90 steam turbines. We also need 108 containers. Uh, how many do I have? Like 40? Can I make 90 steam turbines? I mean, it's just, it's just iron and copper. We're not sending copper here, though. Um, there are some copper mines we could take advantage of. Where are they? Copper ore. As entity. 7.2k, that's going to be enough. Uh, and the, close the next closest one is actually surprisingly far. Okay. We'll take the 7.2k copper. Just down here. And why not prods? Get some... I think I've got active providers lying around. Apparently not. I could have sworn I did. Yeah, I do. Give to me the active providers. There they are. We've even got a beacon here to reduce the cost. With our last couple of efficiency modules. Alright, so that's copper. Um, we need some RoboPort range. Can I do it like this? Not quite. Uh, but I can do it like that. Okay. So that's uh, going to be more than enough copper for our needs. We've also got a bunch of copper ingots lying around. So we need steam. How many small electric? Zero? Okay. Small electric motor. Uh, copper cable, which I should probably just put into storage over here. Get some requesters. And then steam turbine. Surprisingly simple to make. Okay. Uh, let's get a couple more requesters, passives. Limit steam turbines. To ninety. It 
was right there in the tooltip second one. Oh, really? Uh, oh yeah, there it is. But it says like 1.1.68 belt icons, Crestorio 2, combat mechanics, overhaul, space exploration. So I was looking at the end of those. Interesting. Alright, is this enough to get these getting built? We're just missing gears. Uh, I thought we had somewhere making gears. We do, but that's kind of far away. Should get it done. Oh wait, we need the small electrics in here. Uh, how about we just add a wire? Small electric less than one. I like to have all the same only thing they do to change for me is mirror the splitter so everything is facing right mirror the splitter uh are we talking about the belt still like these things oh right <laughs> the, the belt looks right and the splitter looks left Indeed. Alright, that's already three steam turbines. Let's have a look at our build over here. I don't see any reason not to copy it. Uh, the question is where to put it. Probably over here. It's fine. We'll need a bit of landfill though, unless maybe put it over here. Uh, is that covered? It is. We're going to want main power connected to the umbrella at all times, uh, and we're only going to put power to this side uh, when accumulator charge is full. How did I do that? I don't think I used a power switch. Yeah, I used a pump. And an accumulator. Alright. We're gonna need a... Offshore pump. Hopefully it can fit in this horrible swamp over here. Fantastic. Um, that's a little awkward. Oh, how about this? Where else is that water going? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that layout, actually. With the crisscrossing undergrounds. Uh, well, in that case, if the bots are going to have access to build these straight away, I'm just going to set this to equal zero. So we don't build too many steam turbines. Uh, how are they not building it, though? Is what I'm wondering. They should have construction range to build all of this. Seems a little odd. Let's get accumulator down here. 
and power on this side. It actually reaches. Not really. Bruh. So that's fine. Substations right about here and here and here. Perfect. All right. So there's our water. Uh, we're not gonna. We're gonna need to make. Let's see. Eighteen. That's gonna be overkill. I don't care. Uh, eighteen electric boilers. It's condenser turbine? Oh! Well, there's your problem. Since we've got infinite water on this planet, uh, we don't need to use condenser turbines. Um, how different... would the ratio be? Let's see... 10 megawatt max, 10 megawatt max, it's the same. Cool. Uh, the layout, however, is going to be a bit different. Um, I could just let all of that be steam, but we really don't need that much. Let's just work back from here. All steam all the time. And that still says condenser turbine, doesn't it? Steam turbine. Turbine. Let me just copy this. And I don't know what to expect from a CME, like precisely, for this planet, but it should be a lot less than what would arrive at Granis. Um. So what, 72 of these is probably overkill. Probably. Uh, and I'm going to need, let's see, 32 huge storage tanks. There is an explanation for how it's calculated. Are we able to reverse engineer it and know ahead of time what would be at the max power that we'd need here? The CME heading for Granis is 71 gigajoules, 8.89 gigajoules peak. I think Nalvis actually gets bigger CMEs, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, suffice to say, verb T should be not so, not so extreme in its needs. Now this gets 2.2 something. I think it's 2.28 gigawatts, yeah. That's for peak power. So why is Granis, which is closer to the sun, uh less severe. I have five already hitting Nalvis from five CMEs? What, like simultaneously? Okay. Uh, I think we said we needed another, like, 30 large storage tanks, not including the ones I was already handcrafting. I also need... Oh, these are regular substations, because we don't want them 
guzzling power most of the time. Uh, so we need eight of those. Am I going to run out of... it's only steel and copper. Probably not. Give me some of that steel back. Did I move the storage here? I did. Steel ingots, there we go. I really do appreciate that they made it possible to handcraft um, breaking down ingots into plate. And there's no prod module bonus for that, so there's no incentive not to. So we can now carry loads of metal in a single stack. Solar power and size of the radius calculate CME intensity. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I made all of the electric boilers yet. I could go ahead and fill this one with core fragments. Don't really see the need. That is taking a while though. Oh wow. That is way more steel beams than I thought to make these things. Um, I guess I should automate it. I think there's a bit too much arbitrarily long handcrafting in K2. Like, just, just give me the stupid large storage tanks already, honestly. Do we have steel beams? Nope. Didn't think so. And we're gonna need some steel plate. Uh, like this actually. And steel pipe as well. Get out of here, three. Am I actually out of assembly machines? I can't tell how many I have. This is 22 plus 6 plus whatever mess we have down here. Uh, yeah, I might have used all my assembly machines. What can I remove? I think we've got enough greenhouses for now. Oof, maybe not. Why is power so bad? Still the fuel refineries. Um, okay, I guess we're expanding that even more? Let's bring it up here. Seems good. Um, pipe. Up here. And most of that should get built automatically. More power, indeed. Coffee time? Yeah, soon. Definitely. Well, at least the steam turbines weren't difficult to build. Uh, I was saying I need more assembly machines. I don't really need more medium poles right now. I don't think we need this many machines breaking down iron plate. And I know we've doubled up on the pipe builds. 
So this was steel pipe. Oh, that's actually happening really fast compared to if we were handcrafting it. And I spill my drink. Shift C. Fantastic. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Uh, huge. A large storage tank equals zero. We're just going to make one at a time. How much steam do we have already? 9.3k. Nice. Oh. No, that's fine. Because we're controlling it with the pump. You're out of modules for the extra power build? Uh, I, I'm afraid you might be right. So it's not going to produce as much power net as if I had the efficiency modules. What is this guy waiting for? Flip explosives. I think I stole them all. Yep. We're still making a million steel beams for this. Okay. Four, five. I really don't think we need this many uh, electric boilers for this build. This is fine. Why are they not building... Oh, never mind. That would explain it. Let's grab those green houses. And we need some belt. Oh, and I need 14... Fuel refineries. Yellow belt. Show me what you got. We only need like two of these. But how do I pick up just a couple? Good grief. Anyway, and some splitters. Space elevator at 16%. Fantastic. Are we out of barrel up here? We are not out of barrel up here. Nice. How about our barrel down here? Ooh. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I forgot I set that stack size to 1. So we are delivering a uh, barrel. There's another 769 uh, Astro 1 science worth of barrel on its way up with the next rocket. Nice. That's going pretty smoothly. Very, very good. Let's get our power plant finished. And I need yet another electric boiler. None of these are going to work before we have the boiler. We also need yellow loaders. And more belt. I 
believe we need 35. Did I just... Never mind. What would it take to make some efficiency modules here? Ryanite rods. Or I could make double efficiency ones. We need electronic components, which means a bunch of glass and silicon, which we could make. I think we should just do that. Um, so silicon requires a furnace, I think. Yep. Let's make another electric furnace. For that I need five stone. Uh, and now we can put those... Wait, I need to pick up the, um, whatchamacallisms, gas power plants. Which we don't have, because we don't have steel beams, because this is semi-automatic. Okay. And, uh, Junior, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, what was next? Got the electric boiler. Oh, uh, apparently I made an extra one. Whoops. Oh yeah, the, uh, efficiency ones. If you're only putting in efficiency mod modules, then a pair of ones is just as good as a three. Uh, but first we need electronic components. And for that... Ugh, oh, plastic? Uh, I knew there was a reason I wasn't making these on the spot. Wait, plastic is just petroleum and coal, right? Uh, we've got the petroleum, and we've got coal over here. We can put together a handful of coal and petroleum. Varakfall, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This world looks pretty cliffy. It is maximally cliffy. This... This world is just nothing but cliff notes. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, where the hell am I? Oh, here's the coal. Look how hard to see it is. Uh, I'm just going to use steel chests here. I'll come pick it up. We, we're not going to need that much. Oh, and here's another core seam that we might want to tap. Iffy Cliffy, Twitch Malt, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Doing well indeed, what about you? Uh, yeah, almost dying from heat stroke earlier today, but other than that, okay, I guess. Um, uh, basically, I underestimated the weather, and, uh, it was like 34 degrees and more than 30-something humidity. And I was out in it for a couple of hours, doing a lot of physical work, and not in the best shape when I came home. Heatstroke, where do you live? Australia? Yes. Precisely. Uh, we're gonna need silicon. And for that we need quartz. Oh. How do we make quartz? We need a bloody filtration plant and sand. I 
I always end up manufacturing these uh, efficiency ones on planet. That explains the schedule, um, I guess, yeah. If by the schedule you mean the way it changed by like an hour for most people not that long ago, um, then yes, definitely. It's a good morning show for me, okay. <laughs> yeah, the fact that it's a morning show for a lot of people, uh, at least it's not as bad if... Um, if I have to start later for whatever reason. Actually, I'm not going to request quartz, we're just going to build it here. That's an electrolysis plant. There we go, Fil nope. filtration plant. It's huge. Quartz needs sand and water. Uh, water is... This is the one place we don't have water everywhere, apparently. Let's get an offshore pump. On weekdays it's a bit bad because I have to get started at work and can't watch, but on weekends it's perfect. Okay. Good thing I'm doing Factorio on the weekends. Uh, where's my pump? There it is. There's actually nothing here for water. This is like the one place on the planet that doesn't have a million water inputs. Um, alright, let's do over here. Awesome cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And steel underground pipe. Where, where how far does this go? Not as far as I actually thought. I might do it up here. Somewhere. And then, like this. Fantastic. Now we need some sand. Uh, where's my... there we go, polarizer. And then some stone, which we have. Alright, so that's quartz, that's silicon, that's glass, we also need to hand feed it some plastic, and uh, then it's just copper cable and electronic circuits. Fantastic. A cat? Wait, what? Crazy Heather, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Heat, what is that? We have had nothing but rain here in South Australia. Kind of jealous right now. Uh, unless you're having the 700th flood this year, or last two years. Then, not as jealous. Let's just limit that to like 50. And... what was the other thing? Plastic. Right. So I'm gonna pick up some coal directly. Throw it in a coal plant, uh, a chemical plant. It's, that's not a lot of coal. I thought we'd have a lot more coal by now. Well... Oh! Oh, it's all in my... <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, we do have a lot of coal at this point, and it's all in my trash slots. Fantastic. Alright, so chemical plant, uh, we're just gonna take some petroleum from here, take some plastic, all goes in here, and some power. And there we go. Alright, come back in a minute for the plastic. I think there's like three more regular substations I need to build over here. Let's double check. Uh, two more. Okay. One, two. So 
some parts of the Murray have flooded. I'd like to start streaming, but can't get myself to make the setup. Um, Slobs, Streamlabs OBS is not great, but it was a decent, uh, like, easy entry. And then if you want to use Streamlabs after that, it's actually, like, really, really similar, but better after a few steps. Not like I don't know how to, I've done it years ago, but maybe it's because I actually know the pain to set it all up. Fair enough. OBS Studio is great. I can't really compare them all, it's not like I've used a lot of different ones, but yeah, it seems alright. Uh, the only time I've had any real trouble with it... Uh, probably didn't help that I had a lot of browser tabs open, but running out of memory is not usually an issue. Uh, but XCOM 2 last week, on probably the biggest or about the biggest map that you're ever going to play on, doing the um, HQ invasion, we ran into probably a bug. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty confident it's a bug after messing around a bit off stream. Uh, and I loaded, like, the previous save to compare something. Uh, and it took, like, minutes and crashed the game and killed OBS with it. And then I... it OBS didn't crash, but I couldn't actually launch... Um, I, I couldn't actually restart the stream again. So it was in the last hour, so I just finished up. But generally, I've had no issues with OBS. Um, that's That was probably not OBS's fault, really. Depending on your browser, there's an add-on to freeze tabs so they don't use memory anymore. Yeah, I'm using, uh, what is it called? Opera GX, because you can speed limit both for CPU, memory, and uh, bandwidth. Uh, you can speed limit things. So I don't have to, like, close down all my tabs and stuff when I'm doing something like this. Alright, that's going to be several hundred... Uh, electronic components. Cool. And that should be all the efficiencies we need quite soon. My PC only crashes because of my wallpaper engine? Oh no. I'm a little disappointed. You know what? Uh, there's a ridiculously long video if you're interested in this sort of thing. Uh, Ross from... Game Dungeon ranting about like how UI hasn't come that far or has even gone backward, uh, especially for the operating system. Uh, I pretty much agree with that. Your wallpaper engine is getting you a lot of troubles, apparently. But yeah, like. I think wallpaper engine is the thing I'm thinking of. Like, I feel like by now the operating system... I mean, the most popular operating system that we're all sort of forced on... Well, not sort of, we're pretty much forced on... Should be able to do that sort of thing by default. No more... <laughs> Kissing walnuts. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, looks like we did get all the large storage tanks done. We're down to 10, make it 9 steam turbines to go. And what else are we doing? Ended up with a spare electric boiler. Oh yeah, we need uh, gas power stations. They should be built by now, since I dropped off more steel. Yes, they are. Let's drop those off. How's our power now? Accumulator charge is just hitting maximum as the day starts again. We are... 
just barely saturated with our electricity at this point. Um, it'll be a little better after especially the fuel refineries over here are given efficiency modules. Because it'll go from just over a megawatt consumed, uh, and we're getting 4.5 megawatts out of each pair of these. So instead of getting like net 3.5 megawatt, we're going to get like another 0.8 of a megawatt and then some. Uh, once we get two efficiency modules in each of these. I think with all the farms that your planet wouldn't be already be completely polluted. But here we are, all the farms. I like having something distracting me, it helps me to concentrate. I think I need more context for that. Because that doesn't sound sense-making. Oh, we do have a bunch of efficiencies over here, but it's too late now. On second thought... Oh wow, that's... that iron is just gone already, or whatever it was. Uh, on second thought, let's put these whopping eight efficiency modules where they belong. ADHD, it makes it a bit more sense... Okay, so like white noise, for example, works for some people, or music, or something. Or like a podcast, maybe. That's why I watch stream, hear music, and have a visualizer as wallpaper. I see. Oops. Give it back. Uh, so let's see. How many more of these do we need? Fuel refinery. All of those. These ones. This one. This one. And this one. What about down here? I think this one already has the tier threes. So we need. Um. Kind of hard to tell, actually. Probably like, oh. Probably like another 30 efficiency modules. We have four. Alright, that's going to take a minute. Um, I don't want, really want to leave this planet until that's all done. Are we in danger of running out of plastic? I don't think so, but I'll get some more regardless. Hey, Shmua. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's grab that plastic. Podcast and YouTube playthroughs are too much to concentrate on other stuff. Fair enough. Yeah, I like... Um, if I have something big to read, I like to put it into a text-to-speech and play something that only takes, like, mechanical skill for the most part. Like Rocket League or something. Looks like you need more copper cable to get the modules. Uh, I don't think we're bottlenecked on that. No, oh, it seems okay. I think we have a couple of machines making copper cables somewhere. Like one down here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. 
it doesn't actually output. But are we bottlenecking on it? I don't think we are. We're going to be done by the time it runs out, even if we are. Uh, Pijolta, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, I'm going to take a little break. We'll let that run. Let's do some uh, screensaver, LTN screensaver. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'll throw up some words on the stream in the meantime. And I'm going to get some more cold water. Well, relatively cold, I guess, actually. I don't think I have any stored. But I do have the caffeine today, so it's not all bad. Alright, we'll do words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right. Let's get back to it, shall we? And let me just make sure that's paused in case we come back to it. Dwarf Chosen. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Dilka, good to see you again also. Getting better in knowing English words? Nice. It's always good to find a fun way to practice things like that. Looks like we just maxed out efficiency modules. So that was pretty good timing. And now how does our power look? Much better. That's the kind of gap we're looking for. Okay. Um, I think we're done here for now. We've got our... Uh, let's see. Approximately, I think I said like 30, if we're lucky. 25 to 30. Probably like 27 times 2. A bit over 50 liquid rocket fuel per second. Uh, we only need 52k to go to Hagen. 84 things missing? Um, where's this? Oh, that's the new build. Hold up. Oh, they've got their efficiency ones. What else? Nothing? What? Four entities, that's Hagen Orbit, Hagen, and Gibil. So nothing on this planet. Not being able to find words in my own language and all that. I mean, yeah, words on stream gets pretty difficult sometimes. Even, there's a bit of variance, even the first level can be hard. Sometimes. It's my third, but it became my... Now I have to scroll. Uh, de facto second, sometimes I almost believe, replaced my mother tongue. Well, practice is like that. I mean, even in the language, even in your first language, um, how articulate you can be in the moment is a skill that requires maintenance. Love, Callie. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think we're done here. I hope we're done here. At least for now. We got power, we got core fragments, we got liquid rocket fuel, we've got fuel for the two trains that we need. Honestly, maybe I should have just used belts or something with how small this rail network is, but oh well. My favorite favorite one being Exab... Exabu? What? Mixing stuff and create words that don't exist. That is part of how words get made. Uh, they're all just made up after all. May as well leave behind anything that I can easily replace on Nalvis. Um, even the prods? How precious are prods at this stage? If this is full, it is full. Okay, I'm going to say prods aren't that precious anymore. That's good. On the other hand, I don't see what we would need prods here for, but whatever, it's fine. Um, let's send this stuff away. And I'll carry some of this back. Alright. Get in the robot, I mean rocket. Launch on cargo full. And away we go.
The word handy is literally the cell phone or mobile phone? Wait, what? Leave cliff explosives? Uh, I did leave most of them, at least. Just not the ones I was carrying just now. And there's our core fragments. We should have a train coming to pick these up just as soon as 40 stacks make their way into here. Oh, uh, I should probably limit those. Keep them balanced. Seems good. I think... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say I think maybe we need more than one of these trains, but apparently it's not that busy yet. Cool, cool, cool. And there's our train for Holmium Core Fragments. Fantastic. Can I follow it? Wait, what? No, come back. There we go. Uh, Holmium is not a new resource for us, but where the hell is this guy going? Not where I thought. Here we go. Holmium is not a new resource for us, but the fact that it's now infinite, uh, that is new. And that'll sort of act like a productivity bonus for all of the finite Holmium that we're mining as well. It also means yet another trickle of regular core fragments and stone. Oh, we still didn't finish building this. Uh, okay. Let me resupply. I'm going to send the construction train. We're going to inactivity. And I'm going to carry a bunch of extra pulverizers. They're usually over here somewhere. But I do not see them. Pulverizer. In storage. Yeah, there they are. Away we go. Oh, spell evaders almost at 30%. It's going to be a different game at that point, even if we don't have spaceships yet. Robo jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we need some speed modules. Also, this one's not powered. Oh, because the, because that comes from down here. That's fine. But yeah, this is actually not in the way. No path. Where are you trying to go? What? Where am I? What are my bots doing? What? What the heck is this? I think I've seen this before, but I don't understand. Uh, my inventory is... What? Huh? My inventory has plenty of space. And every time... There's bots trying to get in that can't, and every time I move, they do this. What? Where is this train trying to get to? Just down here. Oh, it has no path because... Because this roundabout is unusual. Um... That's a problem, actually. Could we maybe do this? There we go. Hehehe. <laughs> I think that part probably was supposed to be there and it got removed by accident. Um, but yeah, what's going on here? How do I fix it? I don't remember how we resolved this last time. If indeed it was the same problem. 
Um, can I just pick them up? No, they keep coming back. Um, Robopod off. There we go. Robopod on. Robopod off. Robopod on. What are my bots trying to do? Oh, I think I know the answer. Uh, can we cancel this? There we go. There we go. Want to enjoy your cozy robo points? Yeah, they wanted to cliff explode this thing. Uh, and yet they couldn't with the with the drill in the way. All right. So we got Fulminite flowing. Fantastic. We need some speed modules. Thirty percent on Dispel Evader. I believe speed modules are up here. And it's really nice to see all three of our tier three modules just saturated. Very, very cool. All right. What should we do next? I actually went and did a side project because we're waiting for the space elevator, but we had some delays. What's missing down here? Efficiencies. Uh, whoops. I think the train has efficiency modules in it. Yeah, it does. Once you have spill evaders, you're going to want a lot of barrel for spaceships, uh, I guess. We, we already more than doubled our barrel by tapping into the finite sources. And here we're accumulating ingots instead of plate as a priority, as opposed to the other one, where it's the other way around. Existing blueprint for the building train? Um, the train itself, I think, there's one, like, oh, I deleted it, I think. Yeah, I never actually blueprinted the construction train since I gave it better, the vehicle roboports. By cow, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I think that's everything over here. Station, my bad. Oh, okay. Um... I don't think I did make a blueprint for this. This part's actually superfluous. Um, should probably remove that. We're not going back. Let me see if I can connect this. And that's actually it. Should be able to just get rid of all that. Oh, there are actually no construction bots here, except in the construction train itself. Fascinating. It's fine if you had it already. I'll do my version. Uh, well, once I remove this extra bit, uh, I'm happy to blueprint it. That should all be correct. Um, and we're not going to need this, I think. So I'll just, uh, I don't know if you want to use these rail blocks or not, but I'll just grab that. Won't include the trains or train fuel, train stop names, why not? And that should pretty much cover it. Construction. 
Construction train loader. No triple C L. A Robopot. How about a vehicle Robopot for the symbol? Seems good. Alright, so export to string. I'm going to paste that into the Discord. Construction train loader L triple C L dot text. Fantastic. Thanks, you're welcome. And uh thank you for the follow. Uh you user Cecile. User Cecile. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, what should we do while we wait for the 67% and a bit of the space elevator, though? Uh, we've got Iridium, we've got Beryl, we've got Vulcanite, we've got Cryonite, uh, and we've got Holmanite, and now we've got Holmanite from an infinite source. Uh, I believe we had some some rare metal shortages not that long ago and i think one of the rare metal planets two of them are waterless but they have zero biters um radius 2987 that is sof sof sofruna so i guess we could make another outpost over here. But honestly, I think I want to just make do with the rare metals. Uh, we'll just get get it from finite sources. Until we get space elevators, I'd like to try and avoid making another outpost. Uh, especially, preferably space elevators and ships. Um, spaceship is a bit far off, but if we go straight for it, we just have to get Astro 2 and Astro 3. Um, which is sort of not that far away, sort of. I want to do something like what Damsel did with her... Uh, with her orbital base. It was very, very organized. Like, it was basically north to south. You'd get, like, columns dedicated to different... Uh different types of science. I think I'd like to have a bit of wiggle room with like uh, maybe a double wide column with one spare on each side just in case uh, for the rail blocks in case I miss something and really want to squeeze it in somewhere in particular. AI cores are about to be made, then I can build big robo port? Robo port. And advanced labs. Nice. Expecting tracks style? What? Uh, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab our lazy minds. And we do need fluids this time. Uh, I might just continue off that rail over there. So we'll do a couple like this, perhaps. Does that actually have full coverage? It almost has full coverage. Can I move this over a tile? Uh, how about this one? Let's see. Might be a little bit up here that we're not reaching. 
and over here. I think we've actually got this. Yeah, I, th I think we do have full coverage now. Okay. And what am I missing? Blue belt. That's weird. I want to take rail from here, like this, and like this. That should be fine. Don't know why I don't have any blue belt in my inventory. I guess I used it all. Let's grab our construction train. It's trying to load prods. Why is it still trying to load prods? Probably because it picked up something extra. It should be fine. Prod is the last thing that it loads, I believe. SF Hobbit, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. What'd you get up to? Alright, here comes our train. And that should be enough to make sure everything is built. Just finishing up the city blocks, nice. Everything nice and tidy. Oh, we need some chlorine over here. I forgot. Um, how about we stop the train for now? And we'll do a drop-off. This time we'll do it somewhere sensible. Um, I might just do a short train drop-off for chlorine. It should be okay. I'll just double check. Uh, we do have... It's fluids. We should always have short trains able to pick these up. Nope. Let's fix that. And then... Uh, maybe just a large storage tank. Does that actually line up? It does. Very nice. Uh, why don't we do it this way? And pipe. And connect. Doesn't reach, does it? Is that lined up okay? Yes, it is. Uh, we're gonna need some more power. And we're going to need room for a requester. Uh, Artus, Ar Arturus Lakik, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we need a constant combinator squeezed in here somewhere. There we go. And we're going to be requesting short trains only. Uh, provide threshold 25k, or actually less than that, even. Uh, request threshold, rather. Because I'm pretty sure we don't go through the chlorine that quickly. Then again, uh, we'll just empty it out later. Turn this into a provider when there's chlorine left to be picked up. So we'll go for chlorine, just over 25k, and there's already a train scheduled. Fantastic. Alright, uh, back we go, I think. Wait, 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 I didn't do the belts for the extra ones. Um, squeeze this in here. 
Jump out some blue belt. And same thing over here. Similar. That should work. Back you go. go I said there we go should already have path we took it we branched off from uh, an existing bunch of mines already looks like this one's empty it's actually got a ton of stone still I thought I would have to drop down the provide threshold to empty this out but nope all right, there's our chlorine, there's our raw, rare metals, uh, there's our correct um, circuit logic to cycle resources, but not so quickly that the trains can't pick them up if it's empty. And that is pretty much going to do it. Are those loading silos part of Crestorio? Nope, they are from a mod called uh, Bulk Rail Loader. Not the kind to always go talk to somebody. Fair enough. Scale the summit. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How fast does this consume chlorine? If all of them are active, 22.5 per second. It's not as slow as I thought it would be, but it's not that fast. Um, and second thought, how much input do they hold on to? Not that much. We've actually already consumed, like, 7,000. Really? Three hundred and eleven seconds. Uh, I guess the pipes have a bit more storage space as well. Okay. We've also got more of raw rare metals over this way. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Actually, I'm going to be super lazy here. Uh, let's have a look. I think this will load slowly enough that this isn't going to be a problem. And I'm just going to have this rail come out here. We're going to throw down another lazy mine on top of this uh, patch. And that should have full coverage just from that. Nice. And then... Hold shift and press R, there we go. I'm gonna need some more rail. Uh, but I'm just gonna run steel underground pipe across so we don't have to make another... another drop-off for chlorine. That might do it. Oh, perfect. Lines up beautifully. Didn't even have to try. Uh, we're going to need some electricity. Of course. It's kind of far to go either way. And... There we go. Oh, wait. Wait, I forgot. We're going to have our pipe to ground go from here to here. There we go. We'll have to get a bunch of rail over here. I think it would be easier to do it personally than with the construction train.
more disappointed to see T-Hex in a cam than not right now. I can... I think I know what you mean. Uh, it's always jarring if you see... If, if you find out what a radio voice looks like. The face behind a radio voice. It never matches um, what you imagine. And that, it, like, that's putting aside whether uh, the face that you imagine is flattering or not. Where are we going? Here we go. I still lack the blue belt here. Um, that's that's annoying. Didn't I go back to the mall? Uh oh. Why do we have no blue belt? Why do we have no lubricant? Uh, because we're not requesting lubricant, and we haven't done that for a while. Okay. That's, that's a good reason. Uh, let's say 75k lubricant. So we were just running off of the reserve for a long time. Uh, does our construction train still have blue belt? Yeah, lots of it. I'll just go over there. I imagine T Hex to be a Woman with Tyrannosaurus Rex head? That explains the deep voice. Perfect. I was what face the other day when a stream you know, wanted to raid someone saw there was no cam and switched to someone else? How rude. Wow. Personally, most of the time I prefer no cam. Uh, just sort of gets in the way. And I don't think it adds all that much, mostly. What was I coming for? Blue belt. The bots already gave it to me. What mod are you using for train stations? I believe you're referring to uh, Logistic Train Network. Cecile. There we go. So the reason I have a bit of blue belt here is it's faster than the red output here. Um, so this miner is still able to do its thing. Because this part of the belt isn't totally saturated. It's hard to see it right now though. Oh. So that should be... How slow is this? 6.5 per second, 50 times 80, uh, 615 seconds, 10 and a half minutes to get a train load here. So I think we haven't uh, had a train arrive here yet. I'd like to just make sure it works. Any reason not using the fancy LTN Combinator? Um, don't really feel the need. And uh, LTN Manager, I think it is, crashes the game. I think it's a trouble with the um, editor extensions, the extra surface. So I'm not particularly inclined to add even more mods um, and cause problems. Head trick, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Module the miners? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. How much power do we have on this planet? Quite a lot. And I haven't even doubled these... this very basic nuclear reactor yet. Um, and we are totally saturated. Last I checked. Um, uranium-235. So, uh, that's cool. Um, I 
may want to make it so that we don't turn every bit of uranium-238 into 235. I'm not sure how to go about that, though, with LTN. It's not like I can connect it to a RoboPort, the equivalent of a RoboPort, and query LTN and say how much 238 is available. Um, I could always make, like, a couple of pickup stations for the 238 and say this one does not go to this drop-off. And have the second one as, like, a higher or lower priority. Got an AFK bit, be back. Take care, Frank. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, where's our lubricant? Is it on its way? No? Uh, I hope we're not having lubricant truck. No, we've got tons of lubricant. It's just lots of trains parking here, I think. Uh, we should probably make sure we don't overfill the lubricant. But... Oh, I think I know the answer. I stopped... I stopped bringing fluids here. I don't have a request threshold. I've only got a request stack threshold, and that only works for... Um... For solids. So this'll be our lubricant. There it is. I should eat breakfast. I do make something to eat. That is definitely a good idea. We're at 37% on the spell evaders. Might even get it finished tonight. Let's check how many barrel... Uh, we got 1.3k barrel ingots up here. 9.6k plate. Did I just fill a chest with beryllium plate? Yeah, I did. Uh, but that's... Plate is what we're using here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no mistake there. Because I want to prioritize this at the moment. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. What should we do in the meantime? Probably fix a bottleneck or find anything broken. Train has come and gone from this one. Train is already bringing more chlorine over here. I'm glad I did set it to a request threshold of 25k. It's about to run out. Well, it is feeding like three mines, kind of. But still, that's faster than I thought it would be. Hmm. How's our CME? Uh, four hours, 45 minutes until that one gets to Granus, and we almost definitely find out that we overdid it. Well, we're finally getting our blue belts again, that I didn't even realize we were missing before. I'll just double check. Looks like we're not having any trouble at all with cargo rocket section still, especially the barrel that goes into it. So that's a good... Ingots continue to flow. Let's look at our production for ingots. Beryllium ingots in particular. That has been super consistent. Ever since we got, um, ever since we got things going two and a half, three hours ago, uh, with the two blocks, barrel has been ridiculously consistent. So we're doing 38.5 beryllium ingots per minute. That actually sounds like quite a lot for where we're up to. 
In the meantime, we can sing. What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Shave his belly. <laughs> Seems research has been on 37% for a while. Uh, you might be right. I don't know why you would, though, because everything's moving here, and the only reason that Astros specifically would be slow, materially, is Beryllium Plate. And we've had plenty of that for ages. Uh... How about we don't put the SIG data from here into the robot network? In fact, we'll stop doing that entirely, because I have a feeling that the SIG data is being taken to random places. Uh, or like, it, it, probably all the SIG data was going to one science in particular. Maybe. Alright. If that doesn't fix it, nothing will. Literally nothing. Can't be done. Just forget about it. Uh, I think I'd like to stop making the regular solar panels here. Because we've got this whole build in orbit uh, that's making us flat solar panels. And considering that we'll have the Spellevator relatively soon, um, it's really no trouble to go get them. Um... So I'll probably get rid of this. Spell evader hive, indeed. What are the bots doing? Oh wow. Struggling to keep up, apparently. That's a lot of solar panels. I'll definitely have these old ones brought up to that build. Once we don't have to do it with a cargo rocket. Spell evader hype. Get in there. Okay, I need... I need more space. In the old... That thing's full. It's only two chests of stuff, actually. Oh my goodness. Oh, the humanity. Um... How about... That's an active provider chest. What the heck is going on here? Um... Bots? Are you okay? Apparently not. I can't really go past 50 Logibots here though, because they die so very quickly. Storage chests full? Um... No. Hagen? Uh, maybe. Hagen. Yes, they actually are. Okay, that helps. Hello, construction bots? There's 55 construction bots active. Oh, I see. I see what you did there. Um, can I maybe... Oof, owie. Let's drop stuff in here. And then we should be able to get a few storage chests. And now the dominoes start collapsing. There we go. 
why so many small engines? Um, because we sort of kind of a little bit accidentally made like 153,000 small electric engines uh, on another planet. And rather than have them just sit there, I sent them back here. They almost completed the space elevator, I see. Uh, yes and no, Emo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Old Busk, good to see you again also. And guy clicking as well. Alright. I wonder if that'll help the Logibots catch up. Yeah, they're actually they're actually taking stuff from this active now. That was probably why when I came back here no wait, there was no express belt here. That's why they didn't give it to me. Alright. Maybe I could improve this build by making making it a little bit more compact. Um, bringing it a bit closer to this active provider. And putting all the storage even closer to all the assemblers. The storage up here is not helping anything, I think. Probably move all those combinators off to the side somewhere. And have more storage super close to everything. Because the Logibots are exponentially faster the closer they are. Okay. Spellevator... Hype. Science is in motion. Fantastic. Um, so what resources are not saturated right now? It's kind of hard to find that out deliberately. I could get rid of this all... Wow, that's a lot of Holmium plate. Um, this is the old build, right? Whoops. Let's make this a pickup for Pyroflux. And what's this sand doing? Not a whole lot. Just forget about that for now. Uh, this is going to be... Provide... Threshold. And... Provide priority, very high. Short trains or long trains. And away we go. So now something's coming here for the Pyroflux. Fantastic. I hope it will actually... Wait, wait, wait. Why don't I take this train and bump this number up? And we'll just wait until all of the Pyroflux has been pumped in. Because it's not going to measure this Pyroflux, for example. It takes a lot of Vulcanite to make Pyroflux, so I don't particularly want to waste it. And I hope the same principle applies where if we remove a piece of pipe that is... No. I can't really tell, it's only 20 Pyroflux, but I hope that's getting pushed back into the pipe network. Oh, there's still 2.9k? Bruh. There's so much Molten Holmiums here still. Alright, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's get the Pyroflux out of here. And I want to see every last bit pumped into this train before we let it go. How about I set it to inactivity, perhaps? I don't know if it'll ever reach inactivity. Like, if there's a ti the tiniest of fumes of Pyroflux in here, I suspect it might still count as activity, but we'll see. Now then, 
Uh, if we get rid of one of these at a time, it does indeed push the molten into the next casting machine. So we can save some of our precious holmium that way. I wanted to use Pyroflux to do all my smelting, but I need a ludicrous amount of Vulcanite core fragments to saturate the factory. Yes, it's worth it though, I think. Move the media cannon and rejig your mole waiting for the spell evader. That's a good idea. Uh, I like to have 12 cannons at least. And I don't want I don't want them to be far from the mole. This iron is still here. Bruh. Why is it taking Oh, because it's not because this isn't balanced, that's why. I can go help there. Um, uh, that's probably part of the reason why this iron mine is still there. But yeah, I don't want the, uh, delivery cannons to be far from the mall. So the ammo doesn't have to go far. Alright, let's use... even distro... oops! I spill my drink. Why do I have holmium powder? Uh-oh... I thought holmium powder was when it was not with the molten build. Oh, it must have been... It was probably in all the furnaces, I think. Yeah, holmium powder plus pyroflux. Okay, uh, we can take it up here. Shift C, fantastic. Shift C again. I haven't tapped this oil yet. Let's do that. Oh, I don't have the pump jacks. Whatever, I think the construction train might have pump jacks. Uh, probably not actually in it, now that I think of it. No pump jacks. Where do we have room? Probably in the wagon at the back. This one's too full. Or not? I thought I was looking for 150 prods. Oh yeah, there's 50 prods up here. That's weird. Um, but let's go for one stack of jack. And we will request that over here. That'll actually request two stacks. And we should have those being delivered already. Fantastic. And I think down here would be a good spot for the train stop. I don't think I'll ever try using the rest of this block for something else. Uh, let's make sure there's a room for our train. Did it? Construction train is ready. Up we go. Why don't you just park yourself here? Wait for inactivity. Huge storage tank. Go to both cargo wagons directly. Uh, provider station. Fluids only. Short trains permitted. And connect this over here. We can't. Let's do a substation right about here. That actually goes too far because I want the wire 
Also, could I set this to like a lot more inactivity? And place two more jacks. One. This one hasn't been placed yet, surprisingly. Oh, there's more than 20 here. Uh, can I just handcraft a couple? There we go. And let's see where we can get a line down the middle, perhaps. They're actually, like, everywhere here. I could get a line down this way. That should be pretty neat. And... That's pretty... Oh, that's fine. Can go directly in. That can go almost directly in. This can go up here. That one's obvious. That one like this. Does this line up? It does. Uh, I think I like this better. And then... I can just connect directly, I think. Actually, I like this better because... More of a jump over here. Why do these guys gotta be so far apart? That's a good fit. And these two are obvious. What are they? Mm, kind of, yeah. That's fairly neat. Relatively neat. As far as oil pump jacks go, it's pretty tidy. That's it. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Oh. Uh, and this is just going to be called oil provider. Right, threshold 50k, short trains, long trains, all good. And the train should fit on this side of the signals. Fantastic. And there's already 50k here, apparently. That did not take very long. And neither did that loading. Nice. We've definitely got room for a block here, as long as we're not using the bottom right. How much more iron do we have? 4.6 million. Yeah, that's going to be there a while. Also, I left all that iron on the floor. Let's go pick up our mess. Item on ground. Go. Uh, get in there. It's actually going to be too full now, isn't it? Nope. 
Kind of, yes. There we go. It's as if things are going too well. Uh, they kind of are going pretty smoothly for the moment. I think another nuclear reactor would be a good idea. Um, do we have reactors? We do. Are they actually on the autocrafter? Uh, I only see two of them. I don't think we're autocraft. Oh, here we go. We're trying to make ten nuclear reactors, so why do we have two? That seems pretty strange. We've got plenty of heat exchangers and pipe compared to what we're requesting. Oh, here it is. We don't have heat pipe in this thing. That's the problem. Heat pipe. One stack. Is that actually a stack? 15. Uh, and we need to permit heat pipe. I'd like to keep it close to something related if I can. Nope. Yes. Uh, heat pipe up to two stacks. Now we're making progress. That didn't take very long at all. Oh, actually, it takes super long to make each individual reactor, but that's sort of beside the point. My suit in SE.5. Uh, let's see. Oh my lord. What is that, Power Armor Mark 7? That's a lot. Very nice. Okay, can I fit... I definitely can fit another one of these nuclear reactors. Um, the only question is the pipe input. I can't put it right next to it. It's going to mess up. Oh, on second thought. That's nothing but wind turbines. Yeah, that should be okay. The question is how far apart should it be? Probably a little bit further apart because we need room for the water input. So like this. Did you see how, um, when I turned the jetpack on, the underground pipe thing reversed direction? Can I actually... yeah. Oops. That can go there. And this should probably have a sub or something. Uh, speaking of which, Ce uh, Cecile, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. How do I pronounce your name, by the way? Is Sir Ce Cecile. Much appreciated, thank you. And let's get another one over here. I guess I could move that whole thing a tile to the right. It'd be nice and symmetrical that way. Haven't actually built that much of it yet. Uh, we need a whole bunch of steam turbines, obviously. Accumulators. Really, I should just focus on getting the water things done first. Uh, I want one offshore pump for each eighth of this. 
see if we can do it this way. Not quite. And this way. Much better. Auto save. And I need one, two, three. I think it's seven. I, I think I only made one and we need eight. Okay. So we need one, two, three, four. Um, I could bring underground pipe up this way. Might be a good, a good way to go. Yeah, I, I like that. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to do this again. What? Just like that, just like that, just like that, and just like that. Hopefully that's not too many more pipe segments. Should be fine. I'm pretty sure we only need, well let's check, uh, for each quarter we need 2,000. So for each, uh, what is it, four of these? We need 1,000, and the pumps can do 1,250, but I'm more concerned about the number of pipe segments. Um, we're actually only 25% oversupplying the water for this. Alright, so like this perhaps? And like this, perhaps. And way up through the name tag, the name plates. I don't want to do that. How about all the way to the left? I wonder if I could fit another reactor here elegantly. Kind of. If I added a little bit. Oh, wait, there's a core seam here. Yeah, nah. Okay. So, really no harm in. Going all the way left. Need some more. How you say? Steel underground pipe. And that goes over here. And I think I can actually power both of those with the big electric pole. Oh. Uh, so what are we missing? Turbines, heat pipe, heat exchangers, nuclear, so everything nuclear. And a whopping two buffer chests. So basically just nuclear stuff. Uh, how many? 160, 32, and 84. Awesome. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are we going? Way too far to the right. And I want some nuclear reactors now. They are located over here. One, two, three, four. Now I need some heat pipe, heat exchanger. I think we need two stacks of heat pipe. It should be a bunch of it in here. 
Yep, there it is. Uh, heat exchanger. That should be more than enough. My inventory's too full. Um, how about that? And last but not least, we need 150 steam turbines. No, 160. I meant 160, I just misspoke. We have no steam turbines? Really? Zero steam turbines. On the whole planet. Uh, okay. How, how... Well, that would be the reason we have no condenser turbines. It's trying to make steam turbines. What's it missing? Steam engines. I bet we have the engines... No? Yeah, we do have 26 steam engines. I bet I forgot to put the request for them down here. Uh, so we'll go with 10. And... Up to 20. There we go. But now that means I have to wait for this thing to make 160 steam turbines. Ouchie. We may as well empty our inventory of all the stuff we need over here. Whoops. Probably going to have to come back for something. I forgot to get accumulators. Accumulators aren't that important here. Is this in the same robot network? It's not. Okay. Uh, this is probably fine. And here comes... Nothing? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. We have no Uranium-238. Um, got a lot of used up fuel cells. We've still got U-230... Uh, we've, we've still got regular fuel cells on the belt. But we actually came here just in time to fix this. That was pretty lucky. Alright, I need to make a pickup for used up uranium fuel cells, or I could just process them here, potentially. Does this use prods? It does. We should definitely prod this. Um... Used up uranium fuel cell... where's the recipe? Is it in a centrifuge? Used up uranium fuel cell goes into centrifuge, gives us tritium sometimes. Well, I guess that's the first tritium we're going to get. Um, but that gives us a bunch of 238. Um, let's go get some prods first. Sounds finicky, but I bet you don't need to change that often. Uh, yeah, I personally like to change my power armor around a bit, but not too often. Not, not a lot. Carry one older armor with me and use it as extended storage. <laughs> Wait, that does sound finicky. Alright, what are we getting? Steam turbines. I'm not that worried right now. Did I place all of the heat pipe and exchanges? I did. Uh, we want prod modules. Over here. And... And what? Since we're saturated on prod modules... Okay, Vulcanite blocks are still not that great, but I wouldn't really expect them to be. 
Uh, Pyroflux. If there's less than a train load here, then it sounds like it's not getting saturated, but I've never seen any problems with it anywhere. Uh, what else was I coming to pick up? I think that's it. Well, the steam turbines. Wait, what? I type in steam, it gives me steel beam. <laughs> uh, there's 62 condenser turbines. It's, it's making the condenser turbines first, because it's consuming them all. All of the steam turbines. How many condenser turbines are we asking for? Do I have like a one-off request for those that I forgot about? Oh, here it is. Steam turbine, condenser turbine, and steam engine. Okay. That's fine. I aim for a hundred. Wait, wait, wait. Um, a hundred's not that much. You know what? A hundred is fine. Uh, need some accumulators. We got plenty of those. And I need to take assembly machine threes and prods over here to deal with the uh, uranium, the used up uranium. I also want to prod this. So our uranium is going to go a lot further. Uh, per minute. It's almost two uranium fuel cells per minute. That should be fine. Probably. And we need to use centrifuge, actually. I didn't pick one up, but I can handcraft one. Rod mod the whole base? We'll get there. Um, there it is. So we're going to have... I don't think I'll do an output for the 238. I think I'll just put it back in here. What the heck is this? Why... Do it. There's there's no reason. That that's it's a very interesting choice. Probably from back when there were really small amounts of stuff we were putting in here. Um, how do I empty you? Ouch! 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 Out! Hurts! Out! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. No, that's steel. U-235. I don't even know how it got in there. Oh, wait. No, I do know, because... Okay. You have to limit this. Um... Because this is still dropping stuff into this chest. Can I do a long arm? Not really. What are those bots doing? With steel? What? But there's no way for steel to go. Is that a storage chest? That's a storage chest. Okay. Um... Give me the steel. And we'll leave that as is for now. I want a train pickup for the tritium and the stone and bloody hell. I probably shouldn't have done it that way. There must be a train. Oh, it'll come here, actually. We'll at least know where it is. Wait, I can find them. Go back to depot. And go back to depot. There we go. Ezriak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So 
so we're gonna do a pickup station right about here. Whoops. And signals. Seems good. Uh I guess a couple of pickup stations. Except this is going to be not able to squeeze in here, isn't it? I don't think I can just put it like that. I could put it here. That's not quite right. Up. Hey, sorry, may I ask how you deal with deconstructing stone slash trains with your construction train since OG Wagon has little storage? Uh, basically, every time they come back to base, we empty the train. That's it. And we do have some problems from time to time, but we just have to cycle them. We're going to need another robocord over this way. Request a chest. Shift right click, shift left click. Uh, do you request from Buffett? Where are the... Oh, they're going to steal chests, because we didn't we probably didn't have active provider chests back when we built this. There we go. Away go the bots. Um, all of this steel, though, it's running away from me. Could I just drop this into the rail network somehow? Closest. I think the mall is the closest place I can think of. Uh, if I didn't say so, Felma, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Apparently I ended up with one extra offshore pump. Uh, unless I just didn't actually build it. I think we're good. I also needed more steel underground pipe. Uh, and the bots still haven't taken this away from me. There we go. Okay. We should have some steam turbines by now, by the look of it. We have 109. Fantastic. In fact, I think I might just bump this up and come back when we can pick them all up at once. Where am I going? I need to sort out Uranium-238, not all getting turned into Uranium-235 after this as well. Substation like this. Probably requester. So, how does tritium stack? 50. Okay. Tritium. 
looking for 100. And we'll just do something similar over here with stone. Uh, and this will be a high priority pickup. I guess the tritium should be a high priority pickup as well. But we'll have no place to take it for a while. I just put a circuit on belt to avoid passing both U-235 and 238 when 235 is above threshold, indeed. I remember the way I did it last time was actually to have storages for both of them in the rail network, and we compared them. Maybe that would still be a good way to go about it. Alright, so this will be stone. And this will be tritium. And I think I'd like the 238 that comes out of it here to just stay here. Um, except... Why don't I have... There we go. Uh, we're going to read from that chest as well. Oh, that's uh, quite a lot that can fit there. So that we don't send more 238 here when we don't need to. Alright, and then we just need... Either a passive or an active out of here. Passive should be fine, I guess. We're already aggressively requesting everything that comes out of this. Is it all in the robot network? I think so. We've got stone in here. We've got a request for stone. We've got... Zero logistic bots. Well, there's your problem. Uh, why are there zero logistic bots in the build bot requests uranium over here? How did this happen? Well, whatever. Actually, I think I remember Logibots running over here. Yeah, they are Logibots. Oh, god damn it. Now we have a hundred. I, I misread it. Silent Storm. Good to see you again. Johan Anderson as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you use Tritium to get new fuel or just waste product? I haven't actually learned anything about Tritium. I saw it somewhere in... We can make tritium deliberately out of rare metals, lithium, and U-235. Its uses are literally just DT fuel cell. Um, and DT fuel cell is... Uh, goes in a fusion reactor. Yeah. That's a lot of water. And a lot of steam comes out really hot. I guess we have to use the steam. 975 degrees is oddly specific. Isn't that like the best steam for a condenser turbine? Above 900 but below 1000? Because it doesn't actually work if it's above 1000. Yeah, yeah, up to 999 degrees. Cool. Or hot, rather. Cooler than 5k degrees. Tritium is used for fusion, indeed. 
It's a pretty nice upgrade over nuclear, not groundbreaking though. Alright, cool. Uh, it sounds like it's just like different nuclear. We'll definitely find a use. Well, I was going to say we're definitely going to find a use for that eventually, but um, who knows? At the rate we go sometimes, maybe it'll all accumulate before we have the technology. Uh, considering we're going to have Astro 3 not that far in the future, it's Energy 3. That makes perfect sense. We're going to need Energy 2 for a decent start on spaceships. Wasn't I going to put stuff in here? Oh, we do need steel for this. Whoops. I should have just put it in here. Oh yeah, and I can use uh, even distro to fix this. Much easier. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it, stop it. Ow, ouch. It stings. No, stop it. How many uranium... Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Um... Game is confused. Oh, crap. Make it stop. Um, I think because I used picker dollies. Okay, now it's less confused. So the, uh, the bulk rail unloaders, we're trying to, we're still trying to put, uh, uranium-235 into this chest that wasn't here anymore. Because if I place one on the corner, um, if it's a bulk rail unloader or loader, it'll do the opposite. Uh, the unloader will try to put items into this chest from here with its invisible inserters. Um, so because I used picket dollies with the delivery cannon chest earlier, I guess when I deleted this, it didn't recognize that it was gone. Ships is the only way to go into Stellar. Uh, you can use cargo rockets, but the further they go, the more they crash. Or at least last playthrough, you could use cargo rockets to go anywhere. t hacks hurt itself in confusion. This is not inaccurate. It's just very cruel. Uh, this thing's incredibly slow. It should be fast enough overall. 0.6 used up uranium fuel cells per minute. Um, if these things were to go full speed... Oh, I can't actually see. Okay, uh, how about editor mode? Nuclear reactor. Uh, put in some spicy rock. And rate calc times 8 per minute. 2.4 per minute if all of the nuclear reactor was needed. Um, and this can only go 0.6. We would need four of these without speed modules. Uh, guess what? I can only make one more. Get out of here, rock. Also, I meant to pick up those extra Logibots. Uh, where are they? 42... Four to go. One. <laughs> where are the Logibots? Are they still hanging around this...? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, let me help you. No, but I want you to come back so you don't die. Uh, get back here. Oh, did I get it? We have exactly 50 Logibots. The skills. Just snatched them all out of the air right before it would have accidentally deconstructed um, something else. And here I am building tileable vanilla reactors. I mean, this stuff requires a lot of water input, so I have to bring the pipes in somewhere. 
Velma, thank you very much for the Prime Sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, alright. I need to bring a couple more centrifuges. Uh, and then I need to do something a bit more direct about running out of 238 because we turn it all into 235. Uh, let's see. If I did cover X in the same block as regular processing, then we could easily compare how much we've got of each. Alternatively... Uh, give me some centrifuges. Don't think I'm going to find them randomly. Oh, you know what I should find? Is some steam turbines. How, much, how many is this? 153. That's almost enough. Uh, and then centrifuge is in here. Give to me. Solution, mine more uranium. That will help, obviously. Uh, but I want, I want it to work before we've got total saturation. Alright, cool. So that should, in theory, keep up with these reactors, even if they were all going full speed. Now then. Um, that's good. We're making more fuel cells. How fast do we make them? 1.98 per minute? I don't think that's fast enough anymore. Uh, it's fast enough if we don't actually completely utilize our nuclear reactors yet. And I spill my drink. Okay. Let's place all these uh, steam turbines. And we need like seven more to properly finish. I could actually handcraft them, but I won't. Now, before we go back, uh, I'm going to do the equivalent of what I was talking about. If I put Coverex in the same block as uranium processing, it would have made it easier. Why do we have two substations here? That's weird. Also, why do we have spicy rock here? That's also weird. Right then. Uh, we are going to measure the amount of uranium-235 against uranium-238. see what I did here. Um, that doesn't work. That should be fine. Oh, I could just... No, I don't want the wires to cross. Oh, I can't even see both of these. Red wire and green wire here. Alright. We're just going to get wires to connect to this bit of belt. The power symbol flashing there is going to make me lose my mind. Let's do a regular big electric pole. And that's just to get this down here, so we can compare 238 to 235. Uh, and I think we should just say 
238 has to be greater than 235. Why did I type it? Alright. 238 greater than 235, then put more 235 into the rail network. Else, stop. I mean, we can let this accumulate, that's fine. That's actually full of nothing but 235 here. I guess since the whole point is getting 235, that doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. We have to have an we have to have enough 238. But we're gonna aim to keep these equal in future. And apparently this is one of the reasons. Uh, that we don't have uranium right now. Is this the old design? No, it's not. It's just not got much stuff here. Wait, what? We've got... Is this backward? Bruh. Bruh. No. How did this happen? No. How could you? I don't know why that's not connected either. How much uranium is left here? Almost nothing. That's not going to fix things for very long. Uranium supply is the problem. I mean, it's also the problem. Um, is this train getting any more? Oh, there's none left here. Alright, get out of here. That's, that's the end of it. Oh, that might have been why I turned this around. Because I was trying to empty the last part. Yeah, that, that's probably it. Okay. Be gone. And that's finally empty, empty. And this one... Now oh, this will do. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and we've got way too many trains coming to pick up U-230... Uh, uranium ore, rather, for some reason. This should now become a provider. Provide threshold. Uh, I don't know. 200? And priority very high. Uh, you may go. And you guys are actually looking for a different resource. Fantastic. Okay, where's the nearest uranium ore? Entity... We got 24k over here, that's not very exciting. 120k over here isn't the worst. 162... This is all pretty bad actually. Two point, that's 2.4k, I thought it said million. We can get a million way over here. 1.3 mil at the other side of the planet. 1.4 mil... Over here. Alpha mill. Can I... S I wish I could sort this by... Amount rather than distance. Uh, there's a mill up here. It's kind of far. So this is sorted by distance, I think. That really isn't much. Okay, which uranium can I be bothered to get? This is actually like 350k between these two. Uh, I think that'll probably do it. 
Also, the 400k isn't that far from existing stuff. Alright, so let's mark it. And these two. And then... Where's the other one? Over here somewhere? Uh... No, it was near... There it is. Near a defunct station. Alright. Lazy mine. Should cover the whole thing, I hope. It's a tiny speck of uranium it's not going to cover. And what if I put this here? It actually covers it. But the train stop is in the way. What about some underground? Over here. Fantastic. And rail finds its way over here. Super lazy. Uh, we're actually going to go over a core seam if I do that. Let's move that over a bit. Nice and straight. And I think there's a bunch of stuff over here that was marked for decon. Get out of there. Don't know why this was marked for decon. What happened to my mouse? There we go. Uh, and then we need some big poles. Fantastic. Alright, let's get that one going first. Uh, I'll ride the construction train, make it easier. And it's up this way, I think. Alright, park there. Wait for... Forever. Space elevator 42%. Is it slow? I believe it is just slow. Let's see our graph. Uh, astro... Astro science? Science pack... There it is. Astronomic Science Pack. It's actually pretty consistent over the last hour. So we're looking at about one per minute or less. That's uh, unfortunate. We get 48% extra. So like... Uh, about 1.33 per minute. We're looking at... 25 hours? For the Spellevator. But that's longer than I thought it would be. That, that's longer than I'm prepared to wait. But I don't want to have to make it faster first. Uh what to do. That's like, uh, that's, that's more than three streams, but no, it's definitely been 
We've gone through 42% of it in less than one stream, so... And that was ignoring uh, the nuke research. So I think my math is incorrect, or... Maybe we're just not getting the Holmium ingots up there for some reason? No, we do have the Holmium ingots. Oh, it's, uh, not Holmium. Uh, Beryllium. We've got 2.6k Beryllium ingots. I think we've already got enough up there to finish the job. Yeah, I might... I might make more of this right here. Let's see how easily we could add it. Maybe like this. And this part's trickier. It's not really that tricky. Oh, we need the catalogs, though. Are we bottlenecked on catalogs? Uh, we are bottlenecked on catalogs. And we're bottlenecked on visible. It's always visible for some reason. Like, all of these should be equal. There should be no reason that any of these go any faster than the others. Except for, I guess, the flow of cold thermofluid. But we're going, like, infrared, visible, UV. Infrared, visible, UV. Infrared, visible, UV. So we're actually bottlenecked on coolant. So this accomplishes nothing. Uh, let's fix the uranium first. Let's not get distracted. Uh, away we go. It's always visible. Isn't one, uh, one of them slightly slower? I seem to remember running into the same problem. Um, let's see. Nope, they're the same. Or, they produce the same anyway. 24 per minute each. Um, this consumes... Infrared... Visible produces slightly faster, consumes 124 per minute. Infrared only consumes 117 per minute. And UV has it easiest. These two produce 10 per minute, this produces 10.138 per minute, but consumes significantly more. That's probably more the reason. They have different chances and distributions. Yep, there you go. I would have thought they were identical. For some reason. Why are our bots like this? There we go. Whoops. Alright, is that just about functional? Except for the fact that we need a... Uh, Sulfuric acid. That's always fun. Might just do a little side station here for sulfuric acid. And that'll work. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, we're gonna have... Huge storage tank. After seeing how quickly the, um... Chlorine... Was consumed, and how far out this is, I think I do want to do a double station. Alright, so this is standard. That's wrong. Uh, requester. 
sulfuric acid. And just over 50k. I don't think I want short trains doing this. And I forgot to change the station name. I'm convinced it's like that just to annoy people. Why would it not be? It seems obvious. Why is this bot stuck? Oh, I think I know the answer. Yep, there we go. Uh, this train is not going to be able to get here right now. Let's park ourselves out of the way. Does it have path? It does have path. Fantastic. And then this goes over here, that goes over there. And that is, what was it, 400k? 419k uranium. I think I should use prods here. I don't care if it's slow. I won't even give it speed modules. Uh, I can't walk up to it though. Big drill. I said big drill. Prod modules, that's a lot of prod modules. But we can afford them these days. And now we can rename station. Sulfuric acid drop off for the purpose of drilling uranium. Fantastic. And what's our rate here? Uh, 2.47 per second. Don't care if it's slow, just... We'll just make more mines, and I want this to last. Alright, back we go. And while we're getting resupplied, let's plan the other one, or pair of mines. If I can remember where they were. Here they are. So, lazy mine again. I think this time, given the shape of it, oh, there would be 117 ore down here, wouldn't there? Uh, I think we'll do it like this. Damn it. Uh, I guess I could, I'm going to need an extra bit of pipe. And a bit of belt. Just like we did before. And this one as well. Uh, might be easier to do it like that. Uh, and these two also need to share. Fantastic. I should probably update this with a version that has prods all through it. Alright, another lazy mine over here. And another drill. Put a pipe. Once more. That's actually going to reach, isn't it? That can just go there. Uh, and then we'll want to connect the two. Let's 
let's start with the rail. Like that. And straight up here. Don't care about the oil right now. That can probably go like that. And this should probably not be able to fit where I want it. Uh, okay. How about this then? Nope. That's horrible. Awful. Terrible. Unacceptable. Should be fine. Big poles. Because these individual mines will be slow anyway. The traffic won't be a problem. Uh, and we'll need another sulfuric acid station. Probably put that here somewhere. Where are we? Let's go visit. And wait for nothing. How do you do that green extending mouse following train track building? Uh, do you mean like this? Empty null. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Find a brave. Welcome, welcome. Also, I guess that answers my question. Shame that train doesn't share the logistic network. Uh, okay, so I point at the track, press Q to get train track. Um, I hold shift, I click, I move mouse around, and if I continue to hold shift and press R, it'll rotate the track to face a specific direction, and the train track will contort itself to conform to, uh, to that outcome. If I stop holding shift, uh, I don't really have a good spot to demonstrate this on this planet, but if you have trees and stuff in the way, uh, if you hold shift, it will destroy cliffs, trees, etc. Yeah, like this. Here we go. Here's a rock. Um, that's not what I was expecting. I didn't hold shift. I clicked. I thought it would go around the rock. Um, but yeah, if you're holding shift, it'll mark a rock or tree for deconstruction. Uh, by default, the squiggly rail thing will find a path even through a forest. And like this. And like this. And like this. And like this. That should be okay. This is so much faster than manually doing it. Yeah, we used to not have the tools like this. It's been in vanilla since what, wait, one four? Yeah, I don't know, it's been a while. We're still healing after holding onto the spicy rocks from before. That's when they changed the track building system. Oh yeah, because you used to have to like... Am I remembering wrong? Or did you used to have to build curved rail and place them manually? And curved rail took up a different space in your inventory than straight rail. Yes, you had to place curved ones, yeah. Uh, really impressed with how much they improved it. They improved it. Uh, you know what? Give me some of that rail. So that my bots can place it while we're moving. Okay. 
fantastic. And I was thinking of putting sulfuric acid drop off right about here. Can I borrow the one we just used? I think it's on the opposite side from what I want, but maybe I don't care. Ouch, ow, 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 ow. I forgot about that one little piece of uranium down here. Rude. Okay. Uh, and that's going to have to find its way up here somehow. That seems good. The uranium mine set a trap for me. Okay, can we just copy-paste... I think that works. For our sulfuric acid drop-off. Actually, one, two, three, four... I didn't put that in a very good spot. Uh, luck... No, 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 no! Oh! Uh, just decon it. The train will go to the other one. It's fine. Actually, I could stop it instead. Nope, it's already got sulfuric acid. Um, since when is LTN this responsive, honestly? Uh, one, two, three, four. We can fit that there with no issues. Need some signals, though. And then, like that, should be fine. Seems good. Alright, now we can switch it on. And probably... Oh, it actually had the same temporary stop still. Okay, that might work. Um, train's going to be having some problems, though. Wait, where are you going? No. No, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Bad train. Spicy rock, indeed. Uh, let's pull back and go through forward here and get out of the way of sulfuric acid train. And also build this if we haven't already. Are we not in range? We are in range. Fantastic. Uh, I also want red belt like this. So, where's our train? Here it comes. Nice. Uh, I don't actually need the pipes where they are. What is this pipe to ground? That we copied from over here. No? This one looks okay. Alright, get out of there. Uh, and I do need that existing pipe to ground, thankfully. You know what? I hate this. Let's use the steel underground pipes that I definitely have. Over this way. Fantastic. Uh, this one actually reaches. And then over here. And fantastic again. Alright. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, stop it. Alright, so that is another 350 or so K uranium. On top of the 400 K that we just sorted out. That should help. 
We are getting some uranium from core fragments, but it's really not much. And I'll just confirm our trains can path into these. That looks good. Okay. Didn't I delete that? There we go. No prods? Oh, God damn it! Okay, back we go. Where, where was it? Back we go. Wait for passenger present and time passed. Bunk indeed. Send more beryllium ingots up? Uh, they are getting sent up automatically. I'm picking up beryllium ingots from one of the beryllium ingot producing things. Uh, the one that's prioritizing ingots. Uh, when there's only one stack of ingots available, it goes straight to the cargo rocket. I wouldn't be surprised if we already have enough ingots um, to get the spell evader. To be honest. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Spicy rocks. Ow, no, I didn't see that one. No, I need more prods. I think they're in here. Yeah, there we go. And... There we go. Missed one mine on the left. Oh, true. And this one seems okay. And I'll just quadruple check over here. Uh, we did prod all of that. Fantastic. Alright, let's get out of here for real this time. With only a third health remaining. Uh, I don't know if a train came here already, but I have my doubts. Uh, it looks like we're only halfway to loading a train so far. There we go. I might have missed signals to the left as well. No, the, uh, even if I didn't place those signals, the, uh, lazy mine has two chain signals built in. So a train can come in here and then leave this way. Chain signals, uh, stations don't care about chain signals, basically. So if there's a train stop, uh, if the train isn't coming to this stop, it has to treat this sector as though this is a chain signal. Uh, but if it is coming to the stop, it treats it as a regular signal. Which I think is pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look. Beryl... 9.5k plate. That's 9.5k... No, not 9.5k. It's uh, 950... Tier 1 Astro Science Packs, which uh, without the prod bonus is like almost half of the Spell Evader, so that alone is enough beryllium wise to finish the um, to finish the research. Uh, on top of that we've got 2.6k ingots. Multiply that by 10 and 
we get the plate divided by 10, we get how many uh, astros we get. So it's actually just like 2.6k. Cool. So we are still bottlenecked on visible. Let's check the rate. I think we're bottlenecked on cold fluid as well, but... Uh, it's actually 1.2 per second for each of these. And... This can consume as fast as it can go. Did I limit these? Yeah. Visible less than 200. Uh... UV less than 200, infrared less than 200. So they should all be bottlenecked on... Yeah, it's because the visible takes more. Just need more cooling? Yeah, I was thinking that myself. It's going to be a bit awkward fitting it here, I think. But not too bad. Probably just step this up here again. Maybe? Oh, that doesn't even fit. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, this doesn't actually have anything in it. Cool. I think I need it to be, like, another tile upward or something. And the ratio for these was 2 is not enough. It's like two to, 5 to 2 or something, right? Cold thermofluid. Uh, cool thermofluid, 20 per second, and this makes 9 per second, no, 8.82, so we would need 60 per second, we'd need 7, if we're going to add one more, why don't we add more than one more, why don't we double the whole thing, that might be simpler. This goes over here, and we pipe this up here like so. That doesn't fit there. That doesn't fit there either. Okay, that's getting aggravating. I guess we could just send it around. This goes here, that's fine. This goes here, this goes here. That needs power. Can't see how far this reaches. I think that's right. three more thermal radiators, which I think is exactly how many we get over here when I don't let it output. So that works. Also, we have speed modules in these ones, but not these ones. Why not then copy the entire spaghetti and build build and paste it below. You don't mean all of this, do you? No. No, 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 no. No, bad. Very, very ungood. Alright, let's see if... Ooh, I see 
I think that might make the difference. I see cold thermofluid input here all the time. still not quite getting short on visible it seems like that might actually make the difference we need 0.1 per second this gives us 0.16 per second or it can uh, visible is this it UV visible times 3 1.2 per second Um, it, yeah, it's pretty close, but now we've got one catalog machine going at, nope, not quite full speed. Not oh, rip, it should get a bit faster regardless. Can't kill bots if they are below or equal to 50. This is true. Bots would build it, not we? What? How to kill all your logistic bots in one easy step. Yeah, no, the, uh, we're not using that many yet. Although, we actually did pick, as far as orbits go, uh, we picked, like, the best place uh, to spam bots. But unfortunately, Hagen itself is a nightmare for the bots. Um, they die pretty quick. Oh wow, this has almost got a train load. This is almost there as well. What about that other one? Not as fast. I think. Alright, I don't think we would have seen any more processing here yet. Um, how about the recycling? It looks like we've been making uranium fuel cells for a while. Yep. Yeah, I think just recycling the, o the old stuff has us building those uranium fuel cells as fast as that machine will go. Uh, I don't know that it's actually enough to keep up with our nuclear over here. I need to place some more steam turbines. Let's go do that. Turbine, turbine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find it. Th oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I was going to say I don't think I'm going to find it this way, but there it is. is done? Question mark? I think it is. Oh, except for over here. Because we need the water input. Nice. Have you already installed the compatibility mod for LTN and Space Elevator? I have not. Alright, cool. And last but not least, the opening ceremony, we need to manually pulse this. So we can synchronize all of these. Fantastic. We've got plenty of steam storage, so even if we don't need the power, um, we're not going to be wasting the energy from burning the uh, spicy rocks. Well, we're not, you don't actually burn them, but as far as the game is concerned, we may as well be. Um, and I should probably make some more machines here. We need 2.4 per minute if our nuclear reactors were going full speed. This can do 1.98 per minute. We only need one more. 
So I think we'll just change this up a little bit. Let's do a little pick at Dolly's action. I don't suppose long arms can reach that. They can. That's good. Uh, and we also need substation. Actually, we'll just place it like this. Very neat. Although, I just realized this can get imbalanced. But... If we are only requesting, like, a train load at a time... Or two... This is two, four, six... Wait, no, that's one train load of steel. Uh, it's actually only one train load of each. Yeah. And we can fit eight train loads of stuff, cargo wagons of stuff in here. So it's never going to get... Even if literally everything was in here, it wouldn't be Im imbalanced enough to mess this thing up somehow. Like, by having the train get stuck trying to unload because there isn't room. I feel I should move these over because the bots are making unnecessary trips. That's probably fine. How many of these, uh... 2.2k used your up uranium fuel cells remain? And I can't see how many regular uranium fuel cells we have, because we don't have any in storage, unless you count on the belts. Uh, but we should now have enough. We can build, uh, we can make significantly more uranium fuel cells per minute than the reactors can consume. Seems good. Okay. Um, space elevator, 45 percentor. Nice. What should we do? Apart from remove this old mine. Wait, I thought I saw that was red. I don't see anything red here. Oh, regardless, let's have our construction train clean that up. Oh wait, 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 wait. I should have a deconstruction train for this sort of thing. Why don't we build it in the same block? We're just going to have, like, a construction train, but it's empty all the time. Except for bots and repair packs. Uh, down here. And... Probably... Where would be the best place to fit it? I could bring it up this way. Don't know why we've got Roboport over here. I think there was like a temporary thing where I was getting it to build this. So we do want to empty cargo wagons. I guess I could, I should just put it up here. It's a good fit. Move the media cannon and rejig your mole while waiting for the spell. Oh yes, I meant to do that. Uh, where should we put the cannons? I remember I was thinking up here somewhere and I noticed that iron ore is still here. Um, the other thing we should potentially do is make liquid rocket fuel without... 
Nah, light oil is cheap here. Um, but I'm thinking... I could put the cannons in here. It's nice and close by. Installation. Two, four, six. Where's the middle? Don't really know. That's as close as it gets. And we request ammo somewhere on this thing. Uh, I guess there's no constant combinators in the train yet. I should actually put some construction bots in this robot network. That would be convenient. 50 construction bots. And I'll just take these. Oh, they already brought them to me. Never mind. Uh, and we're going to need to request ammo. Say 100. I guess that'll make it 200. Wait till it's actually built. Um, and we're going to want... Just like this. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's the middle. Two, three, four, five. Yep. Actually, if we're if we're loading like nothing into the train, well, I'm still gonna need room for it to come here and then park ahead of that station. Uh, I need to call this something else. How about Deconstructo Train Emptier? And this is Deconstructo Train Loader. Can we fit a longer train this time? One, two, three, four? And would a bulk rail unloader empty the locomotive of fuel? It does not. Okay, cool. So in that case... One, two, three... If I move this forward one... about recycling for deconstruction stuff? What do you mean by recycling? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I don't have the display. Settings, uh, interface, train visualization length six. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if we had emptiers like so, one, two, three, four, could we then fit the train ahead of it? Uh, probably. It's actually super sketchy right over there. There's like one tile where I think the bulk rail unloader might empty the train. Uh, 
If it can be reused, it should go to the mall. Oh, sure. Um, I've already got that, actually. So, here we've got a list, like, I basically copy it from here. Everything that goes into the construction train. Um, and we request that times two from the rail network. Uh, anything that is not in this list automatically is requested to this requester chest, which goes straight into that bulk rail loader, which goes back to the mall. Um, so this is going to be in the same robot network to keep things simple. Uh, I don't really see the need... Installation. We've actually got a bunch of installations built already. Genius? Thank you. Um, I might just request, like, a defense installation. In case this was somehow destroyed. Alright. If we put train here with four cargo wagons to hold the stuff that we deconstruct and we have power over here and we have items in this cargo wagon it does end up in the bulk rail unloader I am sad I think we'll just have to make do with exactly what we did before um, with a free cargo wagon length deconstructor train. You can actually pick a dolly's train stops, weirdly enough. Uh, but they, they have to stick to the rail? Um, what? I thought they had to stick to the rail. Okay. That goes there, and if it was symmetrical, this would go here. Run a second rail below that one. Uh, what for? Oh, you mean for... to make this longer? Nah, I think I like this better. Um... So that actually goes... that's one off. I don't really want to bother moving this one now, though. Come to think of it, I could move this forward, and the bots would have less distance to travel when we empty this. But, it's fine. Roboports, up here please. Come to think of it... Where is this train going? It's trying to drop off crude oil to storage, and this guy... is trying to drop off crude oil to st Oh no. Oh no, I forgot. Finite resources are supposed to be encoded network ID 1, if I recall correctly. Um, let's see another example. Yep. Um, well, we've actually got plenty of room here. I don't know why it was taking that train so long to empty the crude oil. Yeah, it's just slow through here. Well, this will get picked up as a priority. It'll only get vented if this gets full. Is it possible to disable the unloaders with circuits? I don't believe so. Unless you have a mod that can change this dynamically. Uh, and then you could definitely disable it. Small under longer train, second rail dips in... Wait, 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 before I forget. Uh, I don't know if it matters with uranium, but... Okay, cool. We've got the encoded network ID built into this... Blueprint. You could cut the power? Oh, true, that's a good point. That's... yeah, that's smart. Good job. Nice one, Midden. Kalissa Squid, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Love Kelly, Waratah, welcome, welcome. Also, 
And if I missed anyone else, welcome as well. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two. Hold on. Why is it not showing? Oh, it's too close. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's probably exactly where I put this before. Yeah, it is. I'm okay with that. Alright. The constructor train. And I'm getting tired of those construction bots helping, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped off construction bots here. Oh, it's the train construction bots that are helping. Okay. One, two, three. I think that's where that goes. One, two. One, two, three. Fantastic. And then, just like down here, may as well put that so it lights up. Uh, the only thing we're going to load, though, nothing from, like, these green chests. We're just going to put in construction bots. Not to mention fuel. And we're going to read from the train. Read train contents. Um, construction bot less than 150. I also want to put um, repair packs in. And I could do it smart like and not have to have extra chests if we use filter inserters. And I'm gonna say set filters blacklist. Stack size two should be fine. Or I could use a filter and uh, stack filter inserter but I'll set the stack size to a multiple that works for both of them wait what's our max stack size at the moment eight I think we'll go with five um, let's get a substation down here that Roboport needs power uh, we're gonna do this thing again Push everything to the front and shove it into an active provider. I think I'll have the active provider... I, I think I'll actually belt everything down this way, actually. And we're not going to have to use the deconstruction train that often. So maybe it's fine to just have one of these here. If it can get rid of 45 items per second, it should be okay. That's a good fit. Oh, that's a very good fit. Wow. That wouldn't even reach one more tile. It's literally perfect. And I think this wouldn't have reached one more tile. This is the only one that's not max, dist max distance. Okay. So all of that ends up in active provider chest with bots having short travel distance. Uh, here we're going to go read contents of train, uh, set filters blacklist, but we're going to say negative 
for how much stuff we're allowed to have in the train. I think I'll use purple, the same color as active provider chests for... what am I doing? Uh, for the deconstruction train. Makes a lot of sense. It's a bit of a sharper purple though. That's eh, fine. And then... Uh, I think just in case, I'll also output everything from the cargo wagons here that isn't robots or repair packs. Because sometimes, uh, let's see, robot, repair pack, blacklist. Uh, just like construction train down here, sometimes these bots are going to pick things up. So we go over here, and in here. Uh, where are we loading fuel? Just like that. One and a two. We're doing solid rocket fuel. I guess that's fine. I think I wanted a faster... faster train. Alright, and your schedule is... go to here and go to here. Wait until empty cargo, and then... Wait until impossible conditions are met, because I want to have you manually leave. Let's just do the circuit condition. Green equals... equals one, was it? No, green equals zero. Huh. You'd think the train would leave if it's not receiving the green signal. We're not sending anything to train. Interesting. Because zero is null with uh, Factorio signals. If there's a lack of a signal, it is considered to be zero, normally. Alright, let's see how this works so far. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to add... Is it negative 150 or negative, like, 149? I don't think it's going to matter. Alright, so that'll only put in five of each. And we're going to say we're allowed to have another... Another X amount of bots. That should end up with 50 in each wagon. Perfect. And repair pack. Up to 300, please. Cool. So if we put anything else in here, that'll find its way back to the trash. What's this train doing? I requested uh, media defense installations a while ago, and they haven't been brought here. Stack size for these things is only one, so they should be on the way, but I do not see them. Um, can we get some substations to power these? One off, I hate this. Uh, how about you go up here? What? Oh, the... No, that fits too well. I don't want to change this. But medium poles are terrible. How they fit 
through here. Mm. Right. We'll do this and pretend we like it. That doesn't even reach properly. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Um, but yeah, I don't know why media defenses aren't being picked up here. Seems like we're bringing media defense ammo a little bit at a time. Oh, that's going somewhere else. Well, we should have the ammo regardless, which we don't. Oh, did I not? Oh, bloody hell. Well, there's your problem. Okay. And then we're going to do requester up here. And realize it's not powered. And cry ourselves to sleep. This will do, I guess. Uh, I really don't think we need fast inserters here. What? There we go. And ammo. only requesting a bit, right? Yeah. Alright. I think I'll go grab some media defense just to get it done nice and quick. Meteor defense installation in storage. Here it is. That's actually my inventory fault. Recycle construction train for the stuck bots. Um, we already do that, kind of. But the trouble is, okay, so on a planet where I had a short construction train, I can actually get this thing to remove just whatever is supposed is not supposed to be in the train. Um. Uh, but when we've got three cargo wagons, it's a bit of a problem, because we can read the contents of the entire train, but we can't read uh, what's in an individual cargo wagon. So we're just going to have to make do. That's one of the reasons that we empty the whole train. Oh, this... Uh, that's one of the reasons that we just empty the train every time it goes back. Just launch it once to get them unstuck. Okay, right. Yeah, I didn't realize we had stuck bots at the moment. Alright. Nice. So we have our deconstruction train. Let's take it for a spin. Wait for inactivity, and then I think, uh, can we even get out after that? We'll see. This is definitely better than a Spidertron for the deconstruction role. Because you can program it to just leave once its job is done. Uh, this is a little different because I want to remove this rail that it's going to sit on as well. You know what I forgot? Minor detail. I forgot to give it the roboports. 
um, which we need batteries for. Wait for me. This time it's my inventory that's too full. There we go. Should get that copper at some point. Five mil? More than that? Six mil? Uh, but first I need to steal a bunch of batteries. So I can make... Well, actually, I should just pick up the uh, personal robopods directly. Uh, Vlad, if I didn't say so, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we pick up personal robopods. Where are they? Personal report in this chest. There are 15, and I need not that many. Fantastic. Uh, where are they in my inventory? Get out. And then... Wait, no, that was only enough for one cargo wagon. God damn it. Um, Rubicorts, like so. Rubicorts, like so. Rubicorts, like so. Do we have any of those uh, charger things lying around already? Energy absorber. We do. Got four. Take them. Oh, I need more of these as well. Give me every single one. They're not actually here. Oh, there's 16. My inventory's full. My inventory's full. Um. Another eight, that's perfect. I also need copious numbers of personal robot pot mark two. Uh, does this stack to one? No? Did I limit it to exactly ten for some reason? Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, where are the rest of them? And I need the absorbers. And plastic. Okay. Energy absorber goes here. Goes here. Goes here. We need a Tesla. What's it? And this one's not quite done. This one's done. And this one's done. Fantastic. Where's our Tesla thing? We're still making it. Another 
10 copper cables to go. And then 20 more seconds. Alright, let's just copy paste this over here. And that should actually be our deconstruction train finished. Although it'll take a minute to charge it. Uh, why do we still not have these three media defense installations, though? I'm, I'm not clear on that. We've got four. Oh. Oh, the robot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. I got rid of the robot. That's a dub. Alright, cool. So that is our media defenses moved. Let's get rid of this mess. Look at all that space that just opened up. Luxurious. And this looks a lot tidier as well. Except for the sneaky Roboport. Fantastic. How's our charging going? Not very well yet. I want to use the, the new deconstruction train on something. Surely we've got a mine that's been emptied somewhere. Or several. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did we not pick up this sulfuric acid? That's kind of weird. I guess there's no destination for short trains with sulfuric acid. So, bearing that in mind, let's allow short trains to come here. Actually, make it only short trains until we get that delivery. Oh, it's not enough to trigger a delivery. Uh, okay. About down here. Short trains permitted. I didn't actually turn this on yet. And... Go. I think it's going to take a minute. Is this one empty? It is, but the trains still haven't um, emptied it. That's kind of a good sign, I guess. Alright, deconstruction train. Do you have electricity? Pretty much yes. This will be enough, I think. Park yourself... I can't actually get there. Uh, probably over here? Nah, that sucks. Let's see how much range you've got. That should be enough. Space Karen? What does that mean? And where do you want the name in base, Valdak? That made me laugh earlier, someone called Elon Musk. That. I think we need a tribute for it. Okay, then. Uh, but where do you want it? Which planet? Uh, wait for inactivity. All of it. Anywhere suitable? Okay. Uh, I think this is too far. Oh, I didn't mark it for deconstruction yet. Well, there's your problem. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, too late. Lost a little bit of sulfuric acid. Because we didn't delete in the right order. It's probably fine. Uh, 
Oh wait, that... Hold on, that's how power is getting down there. Uh, can we... Put this back? There we go. What a mess this is. I don't really want to mess with that too much though, until we get the sulfuric acid out of here. It's only... Oh, it's 13k. I was going to say, it's only 1.3k. It's actually 13,000 sulfuric acid that we'd be wasting if we get rid of that. Alright. That can probably stay. Back we go. We don't strictly need the um, emptier station for this one, but it's a lot faster. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I now need to refer to Musk like that. Uh, where should we put it? Let's make it our main base, I think. Space Karen. Alright. Um, does it fit here? Not quite. There we go. Space Karen. Fantastic. Should probably limit this so there's always room. glass text plate. Cool. Nuclear reactors are working. Fantastic. Still don't have enough uh, uranium fuel cells to actually see fuel cells on uh, or rather in the chests rather than on the belts. I'm pretty sure we have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made enough of these to consume all of the used-up uranium fuel cells if these were running at full speed. Because that doesn't necessarily translate into enough U-238 to keep spamming uranium fuel cells. It's only... 13.92 per minute. Yeah, that's not enough. It's like a bit more than a third. Well, hopefully we will get some uranium delivered at some point. It looks like we already did. So I don't know where that 238 is going. This station should be a high priority. It, it's not a high priority. Okay, let's fix that. Uh, probably a thousand, because if this breaks, the whole base breaks. Is potentially what could happen. Did RF Holloway get the name in base? Yes. I can't remember what planet it was on. Not Nalvis, surely. That was Sir JMO. Brannis, uh, Exorion, there we go, RF Holloway. Welcome back, Imo. Alright, cool. What other messes do we have to deconstruct? Uh, this old coal mine? Get a train to pick that up first. Hmm, I guess there isn't necessarily a request for it. Am 
might take a minute. Uh, what about this one? Stone, same thing. Did I put provide priority or... Yes, I did. A little tiny bit of uranium here still. Can't see how much is on the ground. But it's at least 29,000. This one is empty though. Let's get that picked up. And... There's barely any sulfuric acid here either. Did I already... That's weird. I think on the map it's showing me red where the mines are empty until I look at them. And then they're not red anymore. Never seen that before. Okay, so this is a mine that we are well and truly ready to deconstruct. Let's get our decon train to pay it a visit. Wait for inactivity, and then I can't tell it to move over here afterwards. Okay. Where are we? Wait, am I in the train? That's, that's, I didn't realize I was still in the train. I was like, why am I not seeing my character on the ground when I switch back from the navsat? That's probably why. Let's turn off my own robot and make sure this is effective. I'm a train, indeed. <laughs> Always wanted to be a train. Alright, that should have reach, I think. Fantastic. And then... This whole thing actually was built out here for the sake of... Uh, for the sake of this mine. How about we park you over here, wait for passenger present, and I'll just decon this myself. This is the downside of the deconstruction train. It has trouble removing the rails. A train? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Excellent name. Uh, let's make some room in our inventory. Construction tra uh, decon train is helping now. It's actually quite a lot of range. I don't know about you, but being followed by a train seems mildly worrying. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Trains are friends. This is obvious. Alright, back we go. I'll change my Twitch identity and become Stalker? No, I I don't... I don't know about that one, Veldak. I, I, I think Veldak's a pretty cool name. Let's, let's, just, let's just stick with that for the moment. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. No. Uh, park here. Wait for inactivity. Trains are friends, can you please tell that to my trains? Andy Games trains? Trains are friends. Keep up the good work. Okay. Trains can be friends, but that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous and have... And... To have following you around. Indeed. Burgers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Space elevator is only at 50%. That's actually a little bit sad at this point. But I'm sure we'll get it done tomorrow.
By other signal lag? Yeah, we get a lot of signals. We get a lot of trains on different game surfaces, and every single one of them repaths entirely. Every single time a signal is placed or removed. It's just how it is. But yeah, I would say Econ Train is a success. Uh, speaking of successes, we've also got the media defense installations all set up and looking nice and clean. Uh, let me just check that core fragment of uh, various types. Why do we have productivity module when I search for core fragment? In, in what way does that make any sense at all? Uh, it looks like None of the core fragments have zeroed, so it's all working. It's looking pretty good. Nothing's broken. Very, very nice. And what should we do next? I don't know, I might call it soon, I'm sort of starting to blank on what I should do. Core Fragment... Uh, Holmanite? What's this train doing? It's just getting loaded very slowly. Oh! Oh, I forgot to lit. oh no. Okay, I forgot to limit the front. Let's go fix it. Planned next outpost for a few minutes. Uh, the thing about next outpost is I want it to use a space elevator. Of course, that will depend on the cost of space elevators. Um, I kind of, I kind of want to go to uh, spaceships as quickly as possible so that we can start having ion ships um, travel between the orbits of the outposts and bring space elevator cables and um, come back with whatever resource. There we go. Much better. This should probably be limited as well. May I ask how... how do you provide rocket parts to outposts? I'm currently shipping packed ones, but not sure if I can do better. Uh, yeah, that is what I send. So, this thing that still says Granus IO sends to all of our outposts. Uh, the basic pattern is we receive a signal for all of the stuff that the outpost once sent, uh, and then we put it all in a cargo rocket. I'm still using iron plate, I should really use ingots, but on the other hand, the way this works, uh, if we didn't use plate, it would sort of be a problem. So, it's kind of a lazy-ish way of doing a multi-rocket. The request on the other end, I think it's only looking, most of them are only looking for iron plate, cargo rocket sections, and media defense installation ammo. Uh, and we've got some special conditions for space capsules, but putting that aside, uh, what we do is just request 500 stacks of each, um, and we subtract what's actually over there, and launch on cargo full. So we load up the difference between what's there and what's being requested. Um, eventually the cargo rocket is full, and it auto-launches, and that's a wrap. You don't ship iron in ingots? I didn't really have the means to mass-produce ingots when I set up this system, and considering that we wait for the cargo rocket to be full to launch, um, changing it to ingots now would be kind of a pain, and on top of that I really just want to burrow straight to changing it so that we don't use cargo rockets at all. So I don't want to spend the time changing it. Nice, thanks, you're welcome. We go. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
If anyone else has questions, I'm happy to answer. Is having all ore going to on main bus, or should I split up the resources to different sections of other parts? Uh, it really depends. I like to get away from a main bus build as soon as I have means to do a good rail grid. Uh, but what, as long as you are doing main bus, uh, rather than tell you what you should or shouldn't put on there, um, I would give advice on how to make that decision. So, for example, iron gear wheels. It's actually different in Crest Wario. Iron gear wheels take one iron plate. In the in the vanilla game, they take two iron plates. Um, so it makes a ton of sense to put iron gear wheels on the main bus because it's it's like iron but twice as dense. Lots and lots and lots of things use iron gear wheels. Um, uh, copper cable is like the opposite. One plate becomes two cable. It's also incredibly fast to make it, and not that much stuff uses the copper cable, except like lots of it goes into circuits. So we don't bust copper cable, we bust copper plate. Um, uh, it really, it, it takes some experience, some like trial and error with how, what kind of volume you need with what kind of stuff um, to really settle on a main bus that you're happy with. Um, but those are the basic ideas, like, I don't put ore on the main bus, for example. Ore goes into almost nothing, but plate goes into everything. Um, what are the next winning lottery numbers? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Someone's been watching Spaceballs. Um... But yeah, I hope that answers the question somewhat. Trying to learn to be more organized and not so cluttered. It's tricky. Uh, I recommend building things bigger than you think you need to. Um, that helps. Or at least it leaves a bit more of a safety net for the spaghetti that you'll almost inevitably need to add. What the heck is this? You saw nothing. Um, but yeah, those are the basic principles of main bus. Volume, stack density, well not stack density, just density. Like, you can always have eight items on each section of belt, no matter what their stack size. Um, but like, iron gears in the vanilla game, or without K2, are twice as dense as iron plate, for example. Uh, Vrakfall for the win, for the wreckage? Uh, which planet do you want it on? Nalvis, our main base? Vrakfall, FTW? Main base, okay. Uh, let's see. Vrakfall, FTW? W. Good fit. Let me just double check the requests. There we go. Fantastic. Why did I close it? It's a mystery. Thanks. You're welcome. Be gone input buffers and you be good? What do you mean by that? Mike has input buffers which gets which get unbalanced. So you just direct insert from the cargo wagons? Uh, I've seen that cause problems as well, though. And problems that make no sense and will make you pull out your hair. Um, hey, we got Uranium-238. Fantastic. Uh, let's see the graph. How? When did that happen? Uranium. I want to see consumption. Not long ago. 
That's been a lot more consistent than I thought. I wonder if a bunch of that comes from core fragments, though. I guess that makes sense. Yay, indeed. Storage is cheap. Direct inserting into trains means missing train stop production. Train stop production? What about using robots to uh, to unload, to load and unload? Robots are what I will be using to load and unload spaceships later on um, instead of belts because two reasons, it's kind of cool, and the throughput of robots at really short range is complete insanity, but they get much, much, much less good the further they have to travel. So, for example, if I... What could I put in my inventory that would work here? If I go and... Let's empty my inventory for the most part. Get a bunch of space. Alright, so I'm going to pick up these uh, cargo rocket sections. And then I'm going to stand right next to where they're all stored already. And, uh, stack size 1 is probably not the best example, actually. Uh, let's find something with a higher stack size. Like these many, many single cylinder engines that we've got. Alright, so if I toss that in my uh, trash slots, the bots are going to come pick up what they can. That's kind of fast, kind of. Overall, not that great. The bots are nowhere near as busy as they were before. I think the, I think the autocraft are caught up. Uh, but meanwhile, if I do the exact same thing right next to these storages, uh, it just melts. Like the trash slots just just empty in no time at all. It's blindingly fast. Um, so bots for loading and unloading can be incredibly strong, incredibly fast, uh, if you can limit the distance that they're going to travel. Oh, and that was with only 50 logistic bots, by the way. Are you going to use the same blueprints as your pure SE run for spaceships? Uh, I don't believe so, no. A um, couple of reasons. Mainly, we've got these big storage chests. Um, I think I probably want to build around those, maybe. Uh, also, I think I built a bunch of standardized spaceships that, like, docked in the same places at the end, towards the end of the last run, that would be used for the next run, but I can't remember what it was, but something... Uh, if nothing else, the steam turbines are going to be different. Uh, Tom... Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Unfortunately, the big storage chests aren't great for spaceships. Uh, what's wrong with them? The spaceships are still... Uh, they base their container stress on inventory slots, right? Low slot density? Yeah, that doesn't matter that much. I'm just going to use... What I might use is like a 4x4 four four or a 6x6 six six for the spaceships because they're going to travel really short distances. Um, and there's actually drawbacks to making big ships. Like uh, last playthrough, when our research got better, when our technology got better, uh, the... What is it called? This, the container stress. Um, the maximum container stress for the ships went up. And I just added a bunch of chests to the ships that we already had, the big ones. Uh, looked at how fast they still went and said, yes, this is an improvement in overall throughput. Very good. What I didn't know was that arbitrarily for the same ship size with higher container stress... Um, even though it was traveling slower, 
we started seeing bigger meteors that it had to shoot down, so the defenses were no longer good enough. 12 chests worth of container stress, 36 chests worth of space, what? They have linear instead of area slot density. Less dense, but you can use belt unloading with them. Small chests only allow bots. That's true. Or well, kind of. Hi, is your stream usually without background uh, music? Yes, it is. Uh, mainly because I think people should be able to pick their own music. Uh, not to mention if they're doing anything else, be able to hear that clearly. I'm not going to impose my, well, not so much my musical tastes, but whatever I can find that is royalty free. That's another reason. Um, I'm always going to be a bit paranoid that I'm going to get hit by a copyright strike if I do play music. T Hax's voice is music to my soul. <laughs> Thank you, Veldek. Chat is the background music. I've heard enough of the Factorio soundtrack. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, it's good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed it is. Uh, the Factorio soundtrack is very good, but... If you've heard it 600,000 times, you might... not want to hear it that day. A warehouse has 512 slots, which is about 12 chests worth of slots, and therefore 12 chests worth of container stress, but takes up the physical space of 36. Yes, that's why I have a bunch of individual chests here, even though I think it looks absolutely horrendous. Uh, it's very unfortunate that if I go for 2x2 two two chests, um, I only get the storage space of 2 chests. I don't like it. But the big containers have some advantages, like being able to do this, for example, with the uh, multiple inputs and outputs. Alright, I think it's about time to find a stream to raid. Let's see who's playing Factorio. Slots scale with width instead of area, precisely. That's a good... That's a good, succinct way to describe it. Uh, we do have someone doing SE. And I think there's only one. As far as I can tell. Um, I'll just check that we can chat there without following and stuff like that. And if they accept raids. Ophnix doesn't do SE? Sad. Alright, let's see. Whoa, that's the wrong copy-paste. Okay. We'll give this one a chance today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. Uh, I just updated today, actually, all of our SE K2 Blueprint books so far. Also, there's the construction train loader. Uh, we'll continue with SEK2 tomorrow, and after that a bit of Terraria. A couple of days after that we'll be doing some more XCOM only, and then back to SEK2. But uh, for now, take care. Thanks for the stream, you're welcome. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. See you next time, Ezriak. Norwegian Butcher, Dardano, Brackfall, and everyone, take care. We are now actually recycling landed content. <coughs> Yo, what's up?